Hello. Hello. Mama. Hello. Greetings. How's it going? Oh, looks like you're getting a weird image from me, aren't you? You're getting like the, mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I think I might have to do something with my OBS to give your and the right image for me. Here we go. Starting virtual camera. Yeah, see there we go. Works better for you. Okay, cool, cool. So we're on here. We're live. Um, I'm going to bring you up in a window. Okay. Let me just get this thing up here real quick. Yeah, I don't think I'm Anthony Wagoner is my name. I don't think that's No. My name. <laughs> it's my last sub on uh, YouTube. Latest sub. Oh, oh, well, congratulations. Uh, sorry, I thought that's the latest guest. It's okay. <laughs> Be a weird thing. Good like job. Good on you, Anthony. Like... Good on you, Anthony, for subbing. I know, right? Yeah, yeah. good on you. Good choice. Good choice. Definitely. Good, good thinking. A sub exactly. and a comment. I mean, how about that? Not just like a basically a, a comment and for a no comment, chick. Oh my god. I know, right? Does he even know the irony? Yeah. Probably. Whoa, shit. Senpai Chow, do you know the irony? Oh my god, that was turned way up. Did you hear that or something? Did you hear my stream alert? I didn't. No, I just saw it though. I could see it for oh, sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, everything's big. Um, we went to Stream Elements, and it's almost like um, Alice in Wonderland, you know, where uh, she goes into that thing, and I don't know if everything's big or it's that she's really small. I think it's that she's really small. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. She eats the she eats something, and she becomes really small, and and that's what I feel like right now because everything, all my little dudes have become big gators, big stubby gators, and it's great, but it's a little bit intimidating too. Oh wait, so you're gonna you have know? me on your screen as well? Hmm, how do I? Do oh yeah, that? you're on uh my screen. Okay, right so now. maybe I should hide my camera. Oh, I see. Oh, because we're doing the infinite. Oh yeah. no, I'm not gonna say it. It's not yeah, an the infinite, infinite regress. regress. It's actually called recursion. It's a yes, different it thing. It seems recursion. like it would be called that, but no. There we go. It's, it's actually okay. not. I'll be I'll be here in this corner with a little tiny bit of lag, but um, everybody can deal with it. Yeah, I mean, I or could actually um, hold on. There might be another way to do this. Are, hold on, there the might other be... option would be whereby if you want to do no, that. No, no, I got it. I got the solution. I've figured it out. Okay, Wait, as long as I... I'm not posting cringe to your uh, to your feed. No focus here. No, you're not posting cringe at all. This is fine. We'll make this work. This will do. We'll have to make it happen like this. Okay. We'll figure it out. Oh, Are you ready? To... We were just watching CPAC and the American oh Samurai American Japanese Samurai Alliance, which oh, has been geez. a wild ride, oh, yeah. of course. Yeah, I've been I've been uh, watching some of that stuff and the oh my god the oh my god you've got like moon. triple ears and. Oh yeah, the rune. Yeah, the rune is embarrassing. Keep, yeah. yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a reward. It's a reward for people who save up their, um, their points, and they can force me to put on extra cat ears. Oh, incredible! Well, that's awesome. Uh, my chat says get in the fucking robot, but that's the wrong character, so it's all right. Um, I mean, yeah. Yeah, wrong character. You're not, you're not too far. O off. Asuka was always off. ready to jump in the robot. Asuka was more than ready to get in the robot, basically every time. Awesome. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, these are not just like if you think these are decorative, like you know, think again, right? Yeah, they're not. They're actually. Why would I not need these? I, of course, I need. The, it's not like I'm an algorithm. Come on. Yeah, true. It's not like I'm somehow cybernetic. Yeah, what the fuck? What What are you thinking? What What kind of yeah? What kind of weird uh, head cannon? People do have weird hand cannons about me. Uh, Demon Mama, and they have weird head cannons about you too. Oh, of course they do. Like, I know. I'm the most like, fictionalized character on Twitter, on Twitter and YouTube right now. The comic book villainess of the of the nightmares of, of so many. True. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. A lot of people have been mad at me. A lot of people have been really incoherently mad at me in the last few weeks. Uh, and actually, really realistically, the last three months, if we're completely honest. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, the the villain. The biggest villain, the most hated person in all of uh, fucking YouTube and and Twitter and apparently Twitch politics. Twitch politics has been spending a lot of time talking about me lately. We'll say made a lot of content for a lot of people. Yeah, so. for somebody that's not even on Twitch. Yeah, people ought to be a little more thankful. I produce a, I create a lot of content for them to talk about. They've made a lot of money off of my face. Okay, every time I log <laughs> on to Twitch in the last two weeks, it's been my face plastered all over the place. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's it's a it's a good it's a SEO that's on the rise, uh, Emily. True, true. Yeah. So more little dudes, and they're so big. I love those Everything's chunky little, here, little little uh, dudes. Mama. Yeah. I'm so, I hate to bring you. Uh, like I feel like I feel like I brought you out here, and we're in the middle of the jungle or something. Like giant little gators, and oh no, you know, it's good. 
The hypnotizing cats lights. and whatever. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, I gotta fix that one. I that can. I can tell you. By the way, if, that one. if you That's want, uh, just so you know, uh, if you want, I can tell you how to. It's a little complicated, but I can send you the way that I got it, so that I can have both yeah. my camera, um, and use it in Discord. It's a little bit complicated. Oh. You basically have to run two instances of OBS. And mm -hmm. one of one is just pulls in your cam from your camera, and then you have Discord and your main OBS thing both grab the camera from that OBS. And it's a little bit mm. complicated to set up at first, but once you get it, you can get a clean output like I have. So you don't oh, have nice. anything popping up or chat or anything. It's it makes life a lot easier. Definitely. No, that sounds great. Yeah, yeah I'll no, send that along. Out. I switched to uh, stream elements uh, not too long ago, and it's good because like it, it ended up upping my. Um, quality i just had everything downgraded from having had a really like um spartan setup when i first started mm -hmm. and then when i did the stream elements everything was default so it was like oh this is what 60 fps looks like wow wow no this is good yeah. so right, there I mean, you go. that went up but i've had to figure out everything you know how you you know you get you get your stream elements set up just like you want it and then you're on to uh stream uh this is stream wait no you're talking about Stream. slobs? Streamlabs OBS? Slobs, yes, yeah, I was yeah. a slob. Yeah I, I much I was prefer, a slob. yeah, I much prefer Yeah, I much prefer using OBS Studio um, and then bringing in things manually because it allows me to have a lot more control over it, but it is admittedly a little mm. bit more complicated. Yeah. Right, right. I'm kind of on OBS Live right now just because of a lack of latency and it it, it seems to be uh it, it there's a few uh there's a few hang ups to it, but yeah, you just Fuck around and find out, chat. Yeah. Fuck around and find out. If you want to be a streamer, that's you literally do have to fuck around. It's a lot of experimentation. On. There's no it documentation of, for anything. You just got to figure it out all yourself. It's kind of a mess, honestly. If you're lucky, you'll have good chatters that'll be like, uh, I can't hear you right now. Like, or you're coming out of the left side, but not, you know, you, you'll have somebody that can work with you tech wise. But yeah. So, all right. You want to talk? Let's talk. Let's, what do you, what do you want to ask me about tonight? You can, you can, I, I trust you to ask a good question. So hit I want me with whatever. I ask you, um, when is your uh, infrared video coming out? Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> listen, when I get the, when I get the, uh, when I get the check for 175, which is my standing offer for infrared, he paid 250 to fucking Vosh. He could pay 175 to me. And 200 to Xander Hall, right? Did he pay 200 to Xander Hall? Well, then. That's what I heard. All right, then. I'm bumping it up. It's 195. The 175 deal ex ex is gone. It's 195. You get a $5 off, 5% off deal, or whatever. Wait, it would be 2.5% off. All right? Listen, that's fair. That's fair as fuck. So then then we'll see. Once I get my, once I get my check. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder how much he paid for that. I hope he didn't pay for that Sansil interview, though. The oh, with Dylan? Debate. Yeah, that was a little, little spicy. Yeah, that was rough. That yeah. was fun. I, I watched or some that... of it. Uh, maybe we'll finish. I don't know. Maybe we'll finish it on stream at some point. I watched a little oh, bit geez. of it. Oh, jeez. Yeah. No, it's 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 a real. It's oh my god. I know it started spicy. Right it like got it got right into it. I don't know. The There's guy just memes. seems like very it's angry. So thick with memes. Like yeah, it, it's just it, I can't even remember. I can't even pull one out. Like that's how thick it is with memes. Oof. It's it's meme soup. It's like a meme stroganoff actually. Is oh, it is. all right. Well, I mean, I'm fine with that. Then maybe maybe we'll check that out a little bit later. We got a lot of stuff to do. So. Highly recommend it. Uh, Highly recommend it. But yeah. really, really, what we brought you on here to talk about the real is meat and potatoes. What you've been doing in these past weeks when you have been <laughs> like just just under the 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 um, under the scope of uh, DGG and like a whole bunch of people that are that have this head cannon of you being this super evil villainous that sneaks around in bad faith trying to start arguments with people or blow shit up when you know in real in reality you're you're you know trying to get the, off the phone the whole time yeah um well let's see uh i i'm trying to think i want to be completely fair to uh all of the people who have uh, all the literal thousands of people who've had horrible things to say about me um and i want to just make sure that i'm not uh saying that people said different things about me than what was actually said but as of the last checkup i am a genocide denying um a genocide denying transphobe who uh is also uh who uses turf rhetoric and also di uh didn't think about transition enough before i transitioned so there's the um that's the conclusion i think is what everybody has that's the character that's been written for me um whether that's true or not um you know is up to the up to the people to decide though uh i will say a significant amount of people 
um, have, uh, you know, have since, um, oh yeah, a threat to women, a threat to trans people, uh, that all, that was, that was from the last cancellation cycle, you know. Contra was super on point about all this, by the way. The way that, like, previous cancellations are used to justify future cancellations, it's exactly, literally, I, I, like, goddamn, Contra of all people, like, literally knows what she's talking about on all that. That is so, the playbook. That, yeah. That's definitely like how they do it with Vosh. That's how they do it with Xander Hall. That's, you know, that's that's generally how the this tends to run. It's, yeah, they'll they'll try to build off of stuff. Even if it's been discredited, they like wait till long enough where mm -hmm. people forget that it was discredited and they bring it out all over again. It's like, oh, you get to enjoy this old chestnut again. Okay, this is, I, I see where we're going with this. Yeah, it's a little bit wild. Um. But yeah, that, those are the things that have been said about me. Um, I made one video in response, and other than that, have basically barely talked about this at all. Um, mostly, I mean, partially because almost no one reached out to me, and secondly, because I wasn't super interested in it. It was actually, like, a massive annoyance to me. Um, I've been, like, on a roll making some pretty awesome comment, content, which a lot of which has been completely ignored because people just want to sink their teeth into this drama and then run away back to wherever they go. Um... But, uh, but, but yeah, so, I mean, I talked on Chud Logic's channel about it a little bit, um, because he invited me on and actually that's it. I think now, mm -hmm. oh, oh, wait, I did talk a tiny, tiny bit about like, not really about the, the, the drama or anything, but about the, the, like the debate originally, like I did talk about that with, um, I did talk about that with um, with Lexi uh, very very shortly, like fifteen minutes. We, like we just chit chatted about oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, views yeah. on the actual debate. Lexi's been going at it with uh, yeah. With Lexi's Pepe been oh, well, Lexi's the one who's too. been yeah. Lexi's been the one who's in the crosshairs this week. So they've moved on to that, which is pretty shitty. Um, honestly, the I, shit honestly, that's being said about I, Lexi is pretty bad in my oh, opinion. Oh god, yeah. Yeah. No, know, not a surprise like, though. No, they take the like the most wholesome and beautiful part about you, and they try to make it into something like that's cringe or some shit like that. I don't know. It's fucked up, like mm -hmm. because like what like the the heart of your our your your debate with Riley, mm -hmm. I think was the idea of allowing people some or not some but autonomy over their identity. Oh, well, I mean, and yes, but it's not just a matter of allowing it; it's a matter of that. Like, I genuinely think that that's the most functional model with which well, to yeah. to like practically go forward, and mm -hmm. um. You know, there's been a whole lot of things said, again, like everything from calling me a turf to saying I'm a transphobe. I think that's just absolutely, absolutely absurd, like laughably absurd. Um, but, you know, that's how these things run. They're but the core of my argument, I think, still the holds. And they're just seeing what will stick. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's we're going to see how it goes. And, and um, you know, we're, we're, I, I'm, I'm very interested because this Friday I'm going to be having a bit of a debate about. Um, not about anything to do with the drama, just about the actual, my actual opinion on gender self ID. Um, mm. I'm doing a lot of research for that. I'm going to be talking with, um, Avi and ask yourself, both people who tend to subscribe closer to a position like what Riley had. Um, and I disagree with them and I have a number of reasons for it that I'm putting together. And I think, I think that will be very, um, interesting to a lot of people. Um, yeah. and, uh, but again, I, 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 firmly uh reject the idea that like anything that i any of my arguments in that were like outrageous arguments i think they're very very easily um substantiated and also i genuinely believe that like a self-id approach um where we basically take it on good faith that anybody who claims to be a gender is that gender because there's no way that we can verify that is the only real functional way to go forward everything else puts you into a a um an area of uh, essentially litigating who is what and who isn't. And I don't think that we should do that. I don't think that's a good start. Right. I think that's, that sets that sort of tease up the, um, tease up the ball for eugenicists and other things. Although I don't think that most, I don't think that most people who are making that type of argument are making that type of like are doing it for that reason. I just think that once you try to, um, define what like a true member of a gender is of any type or what what that means you run into an issue we have no real other way except to take it on fact it's the same I, I look at it very similarly to like names you know what i mean we don't litigate what people's names are um yeah sure we have a legal legal name system which is you know has some flaws but it, because you have to pay money to like change your legal name or whatever but 
as far as monikers, like we've had, we have a whole system in place that just basically says that anybody can use whatever fucking name that they want. Right. Um, except for in very specific situations, like again, like if you're buying, if you're like purchasing a business or something like that, then you have to use your legal name. But other than that, it's like, if somebody says, Hey, my name is Jake, then you go, nobody goes, is it really Jacob, Jacobinius? Yeah. Is it really nobody, your name, Jacob, nobody, or is it Jacobinius? seriously says, look, but you look more like a, look like, like an Andrew to me, but yeah. you look more like a Bartholomew to me. Like, you know what I yeah. mean? It's not like there's a, nobody's trying to find a, a formula to say, okay, like based on these characteristics, this is what your name should be. And like this, this, like, that was one of the, um, so I've debated irrelevant so far on this i didn't really like i wasn't trying to debate our, our relevant but i guess he watched was watching my stream and i was talking about it and he was like oh she's posting massive cringe usually usually he's okay with me but he had to come over and and have a little chat with uh with me and and, and oh, who did so on some oh our relevant oh oh did he have a did he have a problem with what i said too um yeah he was a little bit pearl clutchy yeah he was well a little bit pearl doesn't clutchy. surprise me but yeah, no, that was like one of the things that they, um, they're just like. Bunch of people, the, 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 the story of the last that, two weeks is a bunch of people, a bunch of people who've never talked to me had complete and utter meltdowns, like public meltdowns about how I'm the most dangerous person in the world without actually understanding my opinion at all. And literally just regurgitating word for word, the exact opinions of somebody else. It's just like, okay, I don't know. Again, I just I found this whole thing to be ridiculously um, like exhausting and boring and frustrating. And as time has gone on and I've gone back and reviewed everything, um, like I'm just like, I don't know. It, it, yeah. The cancellation, it is. It, I think it was fair. It's fair to be called a cancellation. Um, I was just about yeah. to say that based on yeah the way you're describing it. That's that's exactly what it is. And by people who like. A lot of these people have complained vociferously in the past about, you know, their own cancellation or the the, the concepts of cancel culture, you know. Yeah, like, their but, idea yeah. of cancellation is like two people tell them they're wrong on Twitter. My idea of cancellation is three months of perpetually getting um, comments saying that I should be deplatformed, that I'm like the a, a subhuman piece of trash, floods of turfs flowing in um and set, telling me that i'm like uh the the most popular one they've been running with lately that i've been seeing quite a lot on my videos um is oh uh, uh it's it's fat guy in a dress fat guy in a dress fat guy in a dress is the one thing that they've been posting quite a lot um mostly on the videos that are pertaining to this drama and the previous dra drama um yeah just a lot of shit like a lot of shit and basically uh and so like that's that's my definition of of canceling but you know i understand there's some people out there who are very very you know they, they don't have quite as thin thick of a skin as i do and you know i wouldn't want to minimize their cancellation when somebody told them they were wrong on twitter.com but sure well that was the thing that, that like that confused me about the uh the original debate and i'm glad that you're continuing talking about the subject matter with somebody who hopefully you know you can just like agree to disagree or whatever with because like that's what i didn't get is that like you know you riley was trying to kind of walk you down this like logic tree because mm -hmm. you know she's engaged in this project and she wants you know she wants she she would like to have you sign on and be like yes you know i'm on board with this too right and she, so she's walking you down this logic tree and you're just like listen there's a real hang up here this is not how i see that and what i don't understand is why did that set her off so much like what how did it like, i have no you know, clue like you were i have no with, clue and like, i don't really i'm not really super interested in speculating um yeah like i you know Again, I, I don't really have much interest in speculating on what's what's going on in her That's mind. True. Like uh, really, again, yeah. like uh, from the moment the conversation ended, I've been blocked, and to my knowledge, that hasn't changed at all. Um, in fact, God, it's gotten out. It's so out of hand. It's like ridiculous. But um, my one response is all that I've really done on this, minus people who are like asking me it. And I'm, no, you know me. I've literally always been willing to discuss things that I believe, discuss my opinions, be open to critique and whatever. Um, oh, yeah. so obviously if people ask me to talk about, to come on their show and talk about it, I will talk about it, but I'm not going to like, I haven't done like eight videos on this or anything like that. Um, mm -hmm. so, you know, I don't know. This whole thing has just been a very confusing experience. And, uh, to me, it seems like very transparently, um, people finding basically, 
um anything uh anything they can to to try and like whip up anger against me is what it seems like yeah 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 and i talked about destiny about that like that that was the thing that when he came on with merrick i just could not figure out like what are you doing that like that like oh, almost every other debater is you, you, is not doing do you know what i mean like and he couldn't give me an answer yeah i don't know you know he couldn't tell me what was bad about you and all i can get is that he wasn't expecting what he got in the debate that day it didn't look good and like instead of maybe i don't know like coming back and having another bite of the apple because you know he can roll he can yeah, roll he, maybe oh, you'd he think he could little... you'd think he could maybe not you'd think well you got sleep stony didn't you huh you got sleeps did you get sleep stony what's that mean uh, so when he's a little low energy and stuff like the way that he, that he was when i talked to him on, oh no about, he was he uh, was pretty sprightly um like when i was talking to him like we, i don't know like here's the funny thing like that first conversation i had fun with that conversation i've said this for months even now even with even look i mean obviously looking back it wasn't fucking worth the time of day um but like but i had fun with that conversation i thought it was like a lot of banter and it was like really mm -hmm. great i did not expect the like the the uh immediate like lies i mean honestly the real shit picked up after like the dsk thing which i thought was another oh, one right. that was just perplexing to me and of course by the way that got rehashed again like six times um during this whole recent cancellation got brought back up and, and told from only one perspective of course um and uh you know that's just how it goes so yeah uh sorry like i don't know all the destiny lingo stuff um uh but yeah no he seemed fine he seemed relatively energetic and whatnot yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. no he just uh, i don't know i just feel like instead of like um you know instead of scapegoating you like he should be he should take some pride in himself as a debate bro and he should want to come back and challenge and get you know what i mean like that's, did, that's, did anybody ever check if he actually posted that conversation on his channel did he i don't know i wonder if he ever did i believe that would be a, a no i yeah. believe that would be a no and you know hey dustin thank you because like that way i think my video probably did uh better because it wasn't available yeah, probably there. So, yeah. Like, yeah i did a little debate analysis on uh, that one and enjoyed it quite a bit and I, that's what i don't get it's like why can't that just be a fun debate okay like and i agree i, I can hazard a guess because i have talked to him a little bit about that i'm actually really curious about this because like i want people like us to be mm -hmm. able to engage with people like him without it being this weird thing and i honestly think it is this weird thing it is a weird thing yes yeah. this complex that he's like you know th he thinks he can't like go hard on us or something like that so therefore if we ever come at him with anything like harder than a little you know pinky flip he you know kind of freaks out because he's like hey i'm not allowed to you know fight back here and it's like you know, wait who said you're not allowed to fight back where did you you know like he's got a weird idea of like what we expect in terms of allyship yeah there's a lot of things i could say but uh, i don't know sometimes i feel like it's not even worth uh vo venting so my opinion because i know exactly what ends up happening and i'm uh there's there's a good chance that this fucking video will end up on the front of dgg tomorrow so um, depending Hi, on how on how spicy depending on how how much we actually delve into um but whatever um yeah yeah no no that's that's that that is always a uh that is always a looming threat um but yeah no it's it's like a um i don't know it's just so frustrating um because i've had so much trouble just doing debates right mm -hmm. at first i was hanging out with the wrong crowd a crowd of people that thought that me doing debates with people meant that i was i don't know turning into peter coffin before their eyes or something like that i don't know what they thought they thought some weird stuff that weird. really wasn't you know it didn't end up being true about me yeah. at all i just wanted to have some spicy debates right and then once i get into the spicy debates you know it's this whole thing of like you know well you know we don't really think of you as a spicy debate chick oh do you want me to tear ctv's face off for you then yeah. would you think of me as a spicy debate chick then yeah. what do you want to see what do you want to see you want me to go after a friend of mine no actually that makes it sound like i did that on purpose that was that was that was bad that was that vivian thing that was like i, I feel a little bit like you because like that was a conversation that i just wanted to be a conversation we very much disagreed on it and it ended up as a fucking bridge burning and i don't fucking get it yeah. like why does it have to be like that you know what i mean like i wasn't trying to go that hard i did disagree i didn't back down but i didn't want to fucking 
end you know a friendship and i i get that that's oh god i don't want to fucking sorry i'm like opening shit up for you no, probably i'm sorry no it's fine because um, i know that it's no like no like i i agree i think that there's like i do think there's like uh there is a tendency during specifically during like i don't know like we, we live in a pretty intense time a lot of people are trapped inside i think there's a tendency for some people to um lean like whole hog into like i must disassociate from you personally i think that's like a toxic approach and a toxic mentality in most cases and also like a weaponization of tactics um that like uh you know like um like a weaponization of tactics that are mostly designed to like hey like if somebody is harmful in our communities like we need to have a way to like get them out of our communities so that they don't mm -hmm. keep hurting people but i think it gets like it gets distorted when it enters social media and people stop understanding like what they're doing and there's no verification and it's really really easy right. for these things to get hijacked into like um you know because communities like you know like a keemstar-esque community um can get involved and just find i'd like be like ooh, here's some drama that we can click that we can you know generate clicks from and it might be something that starts as like a like a internal uh community disagreement or a worry over you know problematic elements or whatever and then it gets jumped on and then it spins out of control and becomes just a totally destroyed um mess so yeah 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 that's what i always say is that like some of the work that people end up just you know, or some of the viciousness that we show to each other on the left like you know what i mean in, mm -hmm. in ter terms of like harming people that people only mean to go this far actually ends up like getting used by like you know nazis later down the line yeah right that, that's and the common and everybody else yeah 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 so it's kind of like even if you think that you're only doing this much you might be opening the door to like a lot more harm and i don't see why it has to be like that like i like arguing with people mm -hmm. if i disagree with you it doesn't mean that i like you know think you're a bad person i mean there are some you know like lines i won't go beyond like if somebody's you know arguing for something that's horrible or ghoulish or like you know just not okay with you know doesn't respect me as a person or um yeah my friends right then well, i mean like, that's, that's as you know like like i i've been doing debate for a long time this has been a lot of the content on my channel is debate content um and like i don't even mind like a little bit of like attempts at dunking but like mm -hmm. i don't know i can't think of like a sink i can think of like one occasion where i've ever even felt like somebody needed to be deplatformed and that was when we had when there was a literal nazi like making jokes about child murder and shit like that was the type of stuff that I, or actually and there was one other time where uh there was somebody who uh was and this wasn't even because of like their opinions that i felt but like they had some serious serious pr dirt on them that i felt could be dangerous to other people in this space um and uh so i made people aware of that because um they had videos out of them admitting to baiting their child uh, baiting their child into um like misbehaving and then beating their child like severely hard like their tiny child um and i was like oh my god like if anybody has this person on their show um yeah. then it's, it could be a disaster very quickly so it was like diffusing a time bomb yeah. before it went off. Basically. Those are like the only two times I've ever engaged in like deplatforming rhetoric or anything like that. Like my my lines are generally like, yeah, you want to dunk a little bit, you want to like get a little spicy or whatever, sure. Um, but I don't know. I think there's a line when you just start, um, when you basically say gloves are off. I'm just gonna make up like complete lies and also like simultaneously use these like extremely hyperbolic lies to also advocate for your deplatforming and all this stuff like that um yeah so yeah i don't know uh there, i've just realized there are some people who don't really share that type of worldview um and those people aren't really um productive to engage with um like you know d online debate and whatnot is like a is a to a certain degree is a a market of trust and a market of respect and it's very easy for people to we're, we're all in tenuous positions it's easy for our, our platforms to take damage um, or to uh, for us to get banned or brigaded or whatever. Um, so I don't know. Um, I think you have to be able to trust people uh, to a certain degree to be able to make content with them, to be able to have conversations with them or to be able to work with their them or their communities. Yeah. True. Yep. 
you know that's um yeah and it, and it is a trust issue it is is it is kind of a um one of those things that you you god and it, it's gotta suck to like be in a situation where you feel like you're with somebody you you know can trust and, and to just have it spiral out of control um mm. like it did uh and yeah what did i just do to myself oh my oh, god shit. is that a stream alert yeah I think it was a stream alert um yeah. yeah um i mean this last thing really spiraled out of control um in my opinion it just became nonsense and that's why i haven't really engaged in much about it um i think it's like it's actually again it's in my opinion laughable how um ridiculous uh the rhetoric got and how it still is and what the narratives are that are running about me and whatnot but uh, you know at a certain degree you just have to stop caring and get on with your life and go do other things um, which is mostly what I've been doing, uh, for this week. And like, I took a couple days off when this f fucking shit unfolded because it was so chaotic and there was so much shit coming my way, um, which sucked, but it is what it is. And now I've been, you know, back at it for a solid week and just doing my own thing. So, yep. Well, you've got a community that really cares about you and, um, sounds like it was doing a lot of, you know, self-care, uh, over the... <laughs> The, the kind of like the days that you took off and um you know that the, there are probably people just needed to oh yeah if there's one person it. if there's like one group of people in all of this that i'm most proud of it's got to be the mods involved like my mod team um and and the uh former mod team um have been like they like basically autonomously took like took every step to like not allow it to be um pounced upon as possible by like turfs by all these different groups like beyond beyond respect for like again i have a huge amount of of course as always i have a huge amount of respect for my mods um and my mod team and everybody involved in my community and our community my community has been thriving um even despite all this stress um but yeah yeah so there's some really good people and i'm very very happy for that and also you know i've gotten quite a lot of support um behind closed doors and whatnot um which is great um it was yeah. a little it was a little i will admit like it was a little bit frustrating um that like basically no one reached out to hear even like to even hear my side of the story at all like they just immediately were just like yeah let's skit everybody on here let's get you know let's get riley on and have her say all the cr absolutely unhinged totally inaccurate bullshit that she did right. um but whatever like it is what it is people are going to make the decisions they want to make you know people got to make a fucking uh ma got to make a living got to make a buck so sure whatever i'm not that bothered in the, at the end of the day like it was very i will say like the, the experience was incredibly unpleasant um but you know it's march now and i got other things to do i got other shit yeah. to work i got a community to take care of and imps to entertain so absolutely yeah, yeah. Yep. No, you get like a whole community to to that's that's growing there, and that's mm -hmm. like very like supportive, and that's how you can tell that you got something uh, real. Yeah, I mean <laughs> Sorry, it's true. Like the, the cool thing alert. is that like I've, I've over me. oh that's fine. You know I've made um you know I've made a a definitive effort to build my own community that isn't like reliant on other streamers. You know, um and that's been very difficult. It's had its downsides, um but. As a plus side, you know, there is a, you know, people are, people come for my show. They don't come for me to, to talk about the latest thing that somebody else did. Um, well, I mean, I guess in the, if you really want to go to the big picture, I do talk about politics a lot, which is usually people yeah. doing something and then I'm reacting to that and whatever, but they, yeah. you know, there's like a lot of stuff that like, I do a lot of original content. I do a lot of original content and original debates and people yeah the drama of, um, mamas and all that and it's really yeah. fun um and actually we got a drama mama coming up here uh, sometime this week so that'll be really nice. fun too um nice, nice. and two debates and yeah we've been having a good time and you know my video gaming streams so you know again like i'm happy that like my community is like it it's not like it's very interconnected but it's not like a, a single group of people are like flood into my community and make it happen it's like it's people come for me and that's right. really inspiring and really flattering and uh it you know it inspires me to keep uh to keep making you know my own stuff that that's made for for the imps you know i make it for them so that they can have a good time and yeah yeah and, and i can get my word out there and whatever 
Yeah, in, in all aspects of your, you know, uh, creative process from the thumbnails that Gina makes to- Gina's a god tier you know, thumbnail maker. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I love her art style. It's really cool. Yep. Yeah, so, yeah, we, you know, we, you know, myself, but also like the people who I have brought on to work with me have a lot of um, their own distinct style and i really like that that's something i've encouraged and always wanted to to do and yeah so no you're definitely your own thing and and i love that you're able to grow through this despite the best efforts of people to you know shut down your voice and yeah i mean there have been a lot of people that was one of the things that was most annoying about all this is that like quite literally um the from the very top of this entire drama has been this call that that i need to be silenced that i need to be deplatformed that i should not be allowed that i should be blacklisted that i should you know my platform should be removed which is to me completely absurd um completely completely absurd and of course the justifications for it are absurd but even the fact even like the the outcome is just ridiculous to me and, and that's something that i haven't been able to square and i wonder how other people do square that how they make that make sense um because my conclusions from it are not particularly positive for those who've been putting out this type of message it makes me wonder um what's actually going on inside their head and whatnot um, yeah. but I really, I, I guess at the end of the day, it's going to come down to the audience and there's definitely an audience for, for some of that sort of thing. Um, a lot of people watch that video. A lot of people watch the video of me and, and, uh, of, of my, of me being talked about by two streamers who apparently decided that it was appropriate to do a, to say a lot of fucking things that I think were beyond out of line, both from asserting, uh, like with no questions asked that I am a transphobe to, um, asserting that I hadn't thought about gender enough to asserting that I am a danger to, to women and to trans people, to, to all of this shit. Um, I just really wonder what's going on in the heads of people who are like, um, who are like consuming that content and then also con concluding like, yes, this is, this is rational. This is, uh, this is, the, this is the truth you know it makes me mm -hmm. it, it reminds me it, it i don't know i don't want to go i don't want to speculate too much but i'm just gonna yeah. say i don't have a whole lot of positive conclusions from from no, no, that no. sort of and, shit and i don't like this new form of debating where like it seems like the meta now is to make a really spicy take that sounds indefensible and to attract someone in like oh i'll take that debate yeah i want to debate mm. you on that and then the person comes in and debates them and they like they move it back or their positions they, they they're like first of all let me say the definitions of words are not what you think they are because i'm using this word like this and i'm using this word like this and if you like twist if you blur your eyes together enough then it they get per it makes perfect sense and you're like all right that's kind of a weird flex or whatever but then like when they get into that trap and, and then they don't come out so well and it doesn't look good for them, their response then is to cry wolf and mm -hmm. to cry bad faith actor and to like, you know, assert that you've said something about them that you never said. Oh, um, yeah. To, to, I mean, or, or literally the opposite of what you said, like, which has been the case, like the literal opposite of what was. It's just there's no desire for truth. There's no I. that's one thing I've discovered. And this is why I just have become like originally like. Of course, now for, for context, like my channel's not that big. Um, I'm, I'm, I've objectively am a successful streamer at this point. I've crossed the thresholds that make you like most people don't ever get here. I know I'm in like the top one percent or whatever of streams. Very proud of that. But like to be completely real, that doesn't mean that your your community is very big. Um, the 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 you know streaming is an industry that's like very polarized there's a handful of like hyper successes and then everybody else doesn't make it at all you just eventually mm -hmm. burn out so i've made it like into that area where it's like yep i've crossed a lot of the like thresholds that most people never make it to but i'm not really at the point where i'm a big a mega stream maybe i will be someday i highly doubt that but it might happen and uh, but for now that's not the case for now my channel is rather small um, and so for a while, you know, I was responding to, I tried to make a good effort to respond to, to messages that were given to me, um, to make an attempt at like that. And I'm just done with that now. Um, the, the number of responses that I give out on YouTube is like probably like less, like, like a percent of what I, like 1% of what I was previously giving out. I used to try to make a genuine effort to, um, respond to all comments that weren't obviously like hate comments, like, like you're fucking ugly or whatever. Anything that was like even remotely good faith, I would try to make an effort to respond to, you know, to like, you know, incur, you know, because people took the time to write a comment. Nah, fuck that shit. Uh, like that's, that ship sailed like two weeks ago. Oh yeah. Um, it's, it's just, uh, 
you know, it's so at this point, it's just most most comments, unfortunately, even positive ones, I just don't even bother. I don't look at them all. I do try to respond to some of the like the most notable ones where people put a lot of effort in, but it's just not realistic anymore. Um, and then yeah. likewise, like my Twitter became useless for two weeks. Um, oh God. And yeah, completely and utterly useless. So sorry if I missed. I apologize to many people if I missed notifications. I probably missed quite a lot. Um, but yeah, it was completely useless. Couldn't even. You just can't sort the notifications. You can't do anything. So. Um, oh, I see. What, yeah. So yeah, yeah it's sense. been a very weird thing, and it, it's weird to me that like um, I have become like such. I have become like the subject of such ridiculous vitriol when it like it doesn't match up to the scope. Like my channel is is comparatively microscopic to somebody like you know destiny um but apparently it's bad enough that like i need to be burnt off the internet or whatever i just it's very weird to me this whole thing is just very weird to me um and i don't really get it so whatever i guess maybe i should be maybe i should take it as flattering that people see me as such a danger threat but i just really wish it didn't involve like such like like i don't know like the some of the arguments that have been weighed against me have a lot of like um a lot of like joe biden is a chinese communist energy you know like it's just like do you really believe this like is this really oh, what yeah, you there's believe some or? That are contradictory yeah it's, it's yeah. weird it's weird one, one week you're a tanky and then the next week you're a woke scold and yeah it's exactly like, just like, okay, i'm a, what, I'm a screeching blue-haired sjw the worst example of a trans activist that you could possibly believe even though i've literally never sold like sold myself as an activist i'm very open about being a political edutainment channel literally never tell people like this is not a news channel this is not like a activism channel i just I want to do interesting content that you might learn something from and then go learn more on your own. Like I'm a, yeah. So yeah. whatever, like people I've discovered that people have their own, their like they live in their own whole world that they write based on what they consume. And they're not really a lot of people. And there are some who are, aren't like this, but there's a lot of people out there, um, especially in these communities. It seems like who just have no interest in truth whatsoever. They are, they don't care even in the slightest. They don't care about the facts. They don't care about what happened. They just want to have, another stream to watch where they get to laugh at somebody they think they don't like and that's it yeah that's the be all end all at the end of the day for a lot of people which is like okay sure yeah yeah it's like they've got these like shadow elements to themselves that they can't really deal with and so they end up like creating these you know characters like they'll, they'll it's like they've got this like you know idea and they and they make it stick to somebody and mm -hmm. it's like you know that person might have like you know just one thing in common with the thing that they're you know um their projection right and they'll just be like oh yeah no that's clearly and they stop looking at you they stop paying attention to what you say they don't even hear you yeah they don't care. Like, like it's like their own imagination is like running the show and like you know it, you, it doesn't matter what you're you just say a, that you're just like you're you're just you become just a cardboard cutout that they see yeah. you and they identify your face they identify your voice and then they go and they have to run all these calculations and they're just like yes sjw harm to women transphobe hol like holocaust denier or some shit random shit that they make up and it just goes bap, 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 and there's nothing you can, can do you to fix that to me the the tanky thing oh the, the tanky th thing. oh actually it's really yeah. funny um fun I fact like, is last night i had a talk with that guy again the guy who made that video on me jay derv um oh and it was yeah. actually hilarious the conversation was great i highly recommend you go watch it because that was a conversation with a guy who knew he'd been who knew i had his fucking number and it was nice. actually because of that like the the act kind of dropped a little bit and we were able to have like an actual conversation that was fun um i think personally i think jay derv oh, is good. i think jay derv is funny i just really wish that like jay derv would would like it's just too much. It's too much dishonesty. It's like it could be like a fun like Vic Burger kind of like I'm gonna make a ridiculous like like vaguely true but ultimately like heavily edited like goofy shit. But instead, it just becomes like complete misinfo. But anyway, he was mad. Uh, this Jader fellow was really fucking mad about uh, me screaming at this um this uh. V vegan lady who did a video about how um oh, if you're natural vegan yeah yeah you know who it is yeah so and there's this part Spicy. in the video there's a part in the video where she um she does the black book of communism meme where she's like she's like uh if communism is so good then how come every communist country killed a million people and then it like goes on the screen and it like 
plays a but it has, shows like a bunch of contextless images like shooting across the screen of various like bad things happening like um some of them are like like one of them is like a bunch of like sad russians like carrying big packages down a dirt road in black and white there's like a, you know a bunch of this stuff apparently one of those was from the holodomor and so i was laughing at the fact that like you're just showing random like it's like you went on google and went bad things happening and then like put those up on the screen and it was just like oh russia bad thing happening bad thing happening bad thing look at look at what happened and it's like contextless non brain soup nonsense that's like fox news tier so i was making fun of that but apparently one of the images or two of the images or something was from the holodomor and so me laughing at that became the in impetus for a claim for a a claim that i was a holodomor denier which is ridiculous like silly um and then that spun out into a bunch of other accusations um about being a tanky even though it's like literally you've got the wrong like you got the wrong stereotype like if you wanted to go right. for anything you could like say i'm like like a like an anarchity or some stupid shit like that like That's but even real. that is like a stretch because i don't even really strongly identify with like any of these titles anyway yeah, it was yeah. just it was very weird and it was a, a big reach and anyway it only really stuck to like two people i think there were like two dumb shits in in destiny's audience um who uh who like picked up that line but everybody else saw that and was just like okay this is like obvious bullshit but that's where it what came I from do with the most ridiculous things that people say about me is i meme that shit do you know what i mean mm -hmm. like if you're gonna make some easily disprovable claim about me i'm gonna keep that as a trophy and i'm gonna show it to other people and whenever people are talking shit about me like i'm gonna be like oh yeah like i'm the way that i'm that canadian alt-right streamer like like tolvo said and it's just kind of like because like there's some shit like that 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 tanky shit uh yeah. i know Dimi mama i've heard you like you know argue with people that that believe these things like it, it's it's so ridiculous to be trying to hang that on her it's so if it's you know really it's really her, ridiculous and that's the thing but like also like i wish that it would i wish that like uh reclaiming these like things would work but like uh and it would, would probably work for the tanky thing i could probably like meme that one up because it's so ridiculous yeah. but like with the but with some of the other ones like the transphobe shit there's a lot of people who actually unironically oh, yeah. believe that now like they're unironically like oh demon mama is like a a a, a like a, a self-hating like pawn of 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 turfs and a transphobe and i'm like how do you even come to this conclusion but people do people believe yeah. that now because i mean and i i know how it is it's because of misinfo it's because of like ridiculously stupid misinfo that never gets countered and people are just very confident in the consumption of this misinfo i yeah, honestly it reminds me of fox so news sure. yeah about their, it's, a, it's like when they're when they trust a source so much because they consider the source to almost be like you know part of their like like their literal god like that. yeah that they yeah. would like literally do anything for including <laughs> yeah who cares who cares anymore what the truth is as long as you uh as long as you get approval from the the one on high the god emperor trump kind of thing right well i think it's just that like they don't want to think of the fact that somebody like that could lead them wrong because that opens up a whole box of worms maybe it feels good to have somebody that you think is like you know so smart maybe it feels good maybe it's comforting in some way i i, oh, I tend sure to think is. that's what parasociality comes from is like something that you're missing a person a relationship that you're missing in your own life and then somehow you see a person that exemplifies that on um on on this thing right here that you're watching us both on i want you to be aware we're breaking the fourth wall right now we're breaking through there to free you from your parasocial chains because you don't need that shit. we don't need you to be we don't need you to be stuck there look we're we're, yeah. we're powerful entities in and of our own we don't need to use parasocial jedi mind tricks on yeah. you to get you to you know do things hey i want you to tell me if i'm posting cringe okay because i'm afraid of what happens if i don't get that feedback from somebody i'm afraid of where i could go you know if i don't have an audience that kind of keeps me uh real and keeps me honest and checks in with me and isn't afraid to call me out yeah like i mean as, as much as it hurts as much as it sucked in that vivian thing when like like you know i turned back to the spicy chat and like twi like a portion of you were, were like really sympathetic to, to Vivian. Like, you know, I, I don't want to lose that connection. I don't want to push you away. I don't want to like, you well, know, start, I mean, the thing um, is like, I don't know, in most conversations that you have, it's really, really easy to just disagree. It's like really easy to be like, okay, I see where you're coming from. I don't really agree with you. Okay, whatever. And right. then you solve it. But that can't happen when it's, uh, when it's 
like the fever pitch that this type of thing is. There's no, there's no desire for that. They're not the, oh, most no, of the no, people involved. Yet. Your, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. Like, totally I different. think, I think it's great when like, like I get feedback and corrections from my audience all the time. Like it happens literally all the time, and I go, oh, okay, cool, thanks, and then we go, boot a bit of it, and just moves on. Um, but you, but yeah, there's just there's certain circumstances on the internet that just can never that can't happen because it's not what that's not actually what's going on even though there's like a, there's a a veneer that like that's what's supposed to be happening it's not you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. well no, like when somebody else burns the bridge there's not much you can do yeah right and sometimes that's not obvious to your to to the audience out there right mm -hmm. of like who's burnt the bridge or who's done what because there's all kinds of obf obfuscation that gets uh thrown up but you yeah. know there there's like you know uh, there's times when well, you know, it would help if, you know, it would really help if people wouldn't lie, but, but, you know, they do. So, but I don't know. That's the thing that frustrates me is like, um, one of the things, again, the thing that frustrates me so much is like, uh, is engaging with someone who you think is honest and then finding out that they're, they just don't care. They're willing to lie. Like they're willing to yeah. just straight up lie. Um, and that is like, um, you know. Uh, I don't know. That's straight up a lot of what has happened here. And I, you know, I wish it had, I, it's regretful that it has happened that way, but that's the way that it has. So what am I supposed to do? Just not tell the truth and just be like, no, uh, yeah, actually I, I, uh, it is true. It, it's, you know, may, you know, maybe they meant well when they called me a, uh, a, a transphobe who hasn't thought yeah. about gender enough before transition. Like, no, fuck that shit. Like, I'm not going to just like, I don't know. Yeah. It's no, you stupid. definitely got If people tell lies like they they they're lying. Like it's just as simple as that. It's not a matter of like it gets to a point where like and in this particular circumstance to like wrap it back around to what we've been talking about like in this particular circumstance like think people can think whatever they want about the initial debate, but everything that followed after that was just completely uh out of like so far out of left field and so ridiculous and so impossible to negotiate with that it doesn't even almost doesn't even matter what we were talking about originally at all like it's just there's no connection to reality anymore and this is i don't know it's it's been frustrating and exhausting um to be completely honest but yeah definitely yeah no definitely yeah yeah it's weird it's weird when you don't consider yourself to be like a drama person to get kind of like pushed into that space and and like hear that from other people that like you know it's like I, I wasn't trying to do drama i was trying to have a, an important conversation i wasn't even trying to do that like that's another part of the context that like wasn't even oh, like that wait, was yeah, completely it was ignored than that right it was like literally there was nothing not only had first of all there was no scheduling whatsoever like riley showed up in my chat and was like i because I, I was joking i've been joking lately like i really want i want to fucking debate conservatives and i kept saying i want to debate conservatives and uh and because they i keep not not getting to conservative debates i'm tired of debating lefties and so um so i, I was joking about that and then riley showed me, he's like oh, i've got a i've got a take for you to debate and was like oh furries don't deserve rights or whatever and i was like get the fuck on here we made like a big joke about it and then of course it went into the godzilla debate and then like at the tail of this I like it, it randomly turned into this discussion about gender and I was like, okay, like I didn't like we we hadn't scheduled this. I don't have any materials prepped, so I'm just going back through and and talking about it. Um, and I don't know, like so yeah, it wasn't even that. It wasn't even like I was trying to have like any sort of serious conversation. Of course, I'm willing to. I'm always willing to engage in that. But that's not mm -hmm. like that's not what happened. And like it was presented all yeah. the way through with this sort of like framing of an assumption that this was like a scheduled conversation or whatever. Oh. And yeah, that was not the, the case. This it, was just it totally like a, offhand. A yeah, it was just random. Like, just completely and utterly random. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. Again, um, I and just... If you watch Emily's VOD, you know, you're, that's... Yeah, that's go watch the VOD. Fair. It's up now. Yeah. I, I, I took it down for the... Like, I took it down afterwards because I was just like, I don't... I, and I broke the links to it because the general consensus in my community was like, hey, this is going to get, like, regardless of who's right, this is going to get used by, like, TERFs and shit, people who hate you, both of your communities to cause shit. And so I was like, yeah, you're right. Let's take this fucking shit down. It's not worth it. We'll just have yeah. a... We'll schedule another one and sort it out or whatever. And then I found out I was blocked. And, and, and then it, then from there, it was just like somebody right. decided to fucking red button it. So, yeah. And if the concern from Riley was that she came off looking, you know, a certain way that she didn't feel represented her, like that should have been enough of a, um, that should have been enough of a uh, remedy, 
for that to to allay those concerns right like you were doing you oh, yeah. you you were absolutely not well, that wasn't even talked to... about like that wasn't that was never right. nobody even bothered to ask if that was the case like it was just the the narrative was assumed to be being told honestly i don't know there's just there's there's like a lot of fucking shit you know there was a lot there's been a lot of disinfo in all of this and um that makes me you know frustrated but again there's only so much i can there's only so much i can do about it you know what i mean like people have their you know uh like 100 like i don't even know at this point what the view count is but somewhere in the ballpark of like 80,000 people plus saw um the video that destiny did about me which was just full of like no no context and just made all these assumptions about like oh yeah this is like demon mama showed up to cause an argument about gender and it's like no actually none of that is true like you've made assumptions about how this unfolded and you've read in the most uncharitable interpretations you could imagine but whatever again they don't care nobody cares about the truth they've already made their conclusions i'm bad and should be destroyed so there you go well, I'm sorry if I didn't reach out sooner. Um, no, I don't think you did anything did. wrong. I, I In fact, just... I really appreciated you uploading both sides of the debate like that. Like, I actually, like, I saw that. I was like, wait a minute. I saw the the thumbnail and I was like, did, re did yeah, Irene re-upload re my oh, debate? Oh, and I was like, what the fuck? And then I clicked on it. I'm like, oh, shit, you stitched them together. And I was like, oh, fuck, that's great. I mean, not yeah. that I would really care. Like, obviously, I don't want people to re-upload my well, stuff, like, directly. But, but like, that was, like, yeah, super, yeah. super, super awesome. Um, just you so know. you're listening, chat, don't make a Demon Mama clips, like, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, please. Just just talk to me about it. I'll help you. <laughs> but, like, uh, right, right. but, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just a... Uh, well, yeah, that was what I was thinking too. Because like, what what happened was the second video that I did on the on YouTube on that was actually where I made the first video, hmm. and basically, um, I was putting it in there into the you know editing software so I could see both you know of your faces at the same time, you know. So for me to be able to like, because I had done like I had watched the debate, but I went I had watched it from your side, and then I thought about like, okay, well now I'll watch it from Riley's side, and I was like, wait a minute, but like what if i could make it the best of both worlds? yeah yeah so, and yeah, i appreciate that it, because nobody uh, saw came. almost no one like as far as sheer numbers almost no one saw that side of it almost no one did yeah because obviously yeah, no, I, obviously i'm at a disadvantage when it comes to that my audience who watched it live saw it but because i took it down that was taken advantage of to run away with the narrative and sell this completely other bullshit narrative which is in fact very infuriating to me like right. it, looking back on it i'm more angry like at the time i was just like god this sucks this fucking sucks um but now i'm like looking back I'm like god i like fuck i like i really got fucking done dirty in this whole fucking shit but whatever you you know i if i if i wanted to if i wanted to make a big stink about that it would come at a cost which means that i would perpetuate what they want which is more free content and so at the end of the day i just have to kind of swallow the fact that it was really unfair and move forward and you know maybe have a conversation or two like this um but for the most part it's not been it's been just one side of the narrative completely and utterly pushed forward without any challenge whatsoever so yeah yeah and that's that's what sucks is that the eighty thousand view video is the one that's got just riley um, well and, and also video commentary video. from somebody who literally and admittedly also, yeah, wants me to framing. die like yeah okay yeah yeah framing from a certain pepe ladi yeah yep so very very interesting uh thing i certainly i will say i certainly learned a lot from this entire endeavor um definitely learned a lot so mm-hmm what yep. did, have you have you watched uh his like latest he's been doing more and more gender takes uh lately oh uh, no because i, don't, I don't frankly i don't give a fuck like uh i've seen a few clips here and there i've seen some um some clips of some of the stuff that he's saying um but uh, quite honestly it feels like a toddler like trying to put together blocks on top of each other with a con with a topic that they're not engaging with in good faith and they're not uh like they're, they're just trying to like work backwards from like, how do I justify this giant cancellation that I just did that some people are having issues with? How do I justify this post hoc? That's what it feels like to me. So maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, you know, his... I mean, it's not, yeah. It's, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't, I, I try to steal man the fuck out of everyone. And, and, but like that, the, the downside of that is like, once you run out of steel mans with me, you're kind of fucked. Right. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't know. I, I don't know but... if, the, if you're referring to like a specific take, I don't know. I have heard people have said that like destiny came out as non-binary and to that, I would say, Hey, congratulations. Um, me too. Absolutely. yeah. And, and I would say, yeah, they are a dumb fuck. So there you go. 
Um, oh, oh, sorry, um, I shouldn't say that. Um, still using, uh, still using he, him. Pronouns. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, but, yeah they, he, uh, he 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 is still he is... a dumb fuck. He's a non-binary dumb fuck. There you go. Yeah. Um, and it's not it's not it's yeah. not an issue. It doesn't it doesn't break our uh, minds. We're not we're not you know. Yeah, you know I, I, mean? I know like, that was anyway. like listen like like I get it like it's, there was a little bit of like the the pepeing you know like haha pepeing you know but hey you know what I genuinely believe that if that like I know how liberating that can be. So mm -hmm. good. Good for yeah, you. yeah, that's true. That's true. There's all good yeah, and the, and the off chance or or whatever, you know, it's like there's no harm in just like, you know, like yeah, we're yeah. We're I wonder if he'll. I do wonder here. if he'll keep we're his own standards here. though. Like, I wonder if he'll keep his own his own the standards he held for me. I wonder if he would. Um, I wonder if he would make sure that he's done enough thinking. Like, you know, the standards that he gave out for me. You know, I just wouldn't want that to happen anyway. I fucking hate for that sure, shit. for sure, yeah. definitely, definitely. Well, thank you so much for coming on here, Demon Mama. It's been yeah. super nice uh, talking to you and catching yeah, up, yeah. getting your side of the story, especially considering how, um, you know, the the narrative that got pushed was so far from the truth. And I, yeah. I did what I could to, to kind of, you know, set the story straight. And at least, at least if, if people want to. Well, the, the thing is, I don't, there. just so you know, like, I don't expect anyone to, like, to, like, come in and go to bat for me. Like, I am, I am capable of defending myself. I, I am yeah. a little frustrated that, like, shows that are kind of, like, trying to cover the story don't try, don't actually cover it. Like, they're just, like, I'm going to just go talk to whoever I think will generate the most clicks. Like, I think that right. that's kind of, like, an irresponsible way to cover the story. But at the end of the day, it's, like, fucking whatever, you know? Like, it's, it's Twitch. Like, we don't exactly have very good journalistic standards on Twitch. Let's be completely honest, or or YouTube ethics or streaming. Ethics Twitch journalism. Yeah, eth exactly. No ethics. Yeah, exactly. That's go. the next thing up. But it's just so it's just kind of like it's one of those things where it's like, uh, you know, I don't expect any of that. Like, but I, I do appreciate it when people uh, like are like, hey, maybe 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 I'm not being told every detail about this that could change the way that like I'm concluding this, especially in a situation where so much of it is up in the air with regard to charitability. Like uh, there's a lot of like a lot of uh, a lot of sort of extrapolation has been done based on assumptions about what I was trying to say or what I was saying or whatever that aren't actually like based at all on um, like, any objective truth or or wording or anything they're just they're just making a presumption about what they conclude about me um and that's basically that's just an internal charitability calculation and if you have no charitability then well there you go you know see so it would be nice if like there was some you know a bigger attempt to be like hey maybe we should grant some just a drop of charitability and see yeah. if there's a little more to this but whatever yeah yeah, especially if your community prides itself on, you know, staying true to, you know, your the, the cognitive process and, and not, you know, relying on inductive logic, actually, you know, give, pursuing all these things to their logical end and finding out the truth, mm -hmm. right, or, or some semblance thereof, you know, the, the closest we can get to the the truth um that's kind of what like you know that's 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 my imperative right is that if somebody's being lied about i want to expose those lies yeah and i appreciate that uh the truth seekers the truth seekers calling it's a it's a good thing um also i mean like i don't know what your schedule is looking like but if you want if you want to do questions from chat or whatever i'm totally open to that i i have plenty of time chat, tonight do you have so some questions for yeah. uh Demon Mama. Yeah, I'm. I'm totally fine. If you want to talk about stuff a little more. Yeah, this is yeah. gonna be the bird brains uh, slot uh, going forward. Um, oh, but yeah, for, for this, I'm kind of rebooting it on on, on Monday instead of uh, Friday. Oh, so. nice. But yeah, the, for the, we don't have a panel uh, scheduled for tonight. So yeah, we actually do have uh, time for questions. Yeah, sure. sure. Okay, so um, Chad, I'm gonna ask you to highlight your messages. If you want to ask a question, and if you don't have enough channel points, ask one of the mods, and they will relay your question to me, and I will relay it to Demon Mama. So, Demon Mama, how do you get such nice hair? Um, honestly, uh, I'm gonna be completely honest. It's it's just luck uh, for the most part. Vast majority of it is just luck. I I happen to have like very fine hair that uh, is pretty manageable. Um, Although I mean I do take I like I I do try to take relatively good care of my hair. Um, you know I don't over, like I don't like shampoo like a crazy amount so it doesn't get super dried out. And I do conditioner mm -hmm. use conditioner regularly like very gentle conditioner, but it's nothing special. Like it's just not over not overdoing it, not like tearing the shit out of it with like harsh shampoos. And then 
um, con using conditioner regularly. And um, I also don't like, I, I, I've been blow drying my hair more lately, um, but it actually does make it a little bit more dry. But for most of my life, I didn't really, I just air dried my hair most of the time and that helps. So nice. yeah. Um, unfortunately, but oh God, I, wish I, I wish I could tell you more. Dry, when I air dry, mine's a mess. Yeah. Um, Shuffle Kitty wants to know, uh, why do you still believe in 17th century Anglo-Saxon metaphysics? Why do I believe in 17th century Anglo-Saxon metaphysics? Do I? I wasn't even aware. I, I think according to uh, the uh, the infrared uh, people. Uh, oh, all oh our, infrared. Our, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, our, our, our lib takes come from uh, Saxony. Saxony. Maybe? Oh, okay. Um, I don't know that I do. Bit. I really didn't know that I did. Maybe I do. Maybe I'm up to being educated on why I do believe that. But as I far as I know, I, I didn't know. So. Educated, yeah, definitely. Yeah, probably. Like, yeah, exactly. Reeducation. Yeah, definitely. Uh, they were they were in my chat last night, so that was uh, actually for the past two nights I've been dealing with the gorilla gang. So that's been really fun getting to know that getting to know them. Um, but yeah, it, it was <laughs> the gorilla emotes. There you go. Oh God, we got the gorilla in the sun. The I know. So I've got half my community wants me to talk to infrared and the other half doesn't, but guess what? None of their opinions matter because the only thing that matters is cold, hard, cold, hard cash, baby. If infrared Listen. wants to come on 175, uh, sorry, uh, 195 and we're good to go. Yeah. Infrared. You, you got to know that like when you start paying people, people know that you, that you, people are going to expect They're not going to be payment. ripped you know off. What, I mean? what the That's hell? The mafia works. Okay. You know, yeah. you start paying for protection you're not you're not gonna get out of that shit you know come on infrared what are you thinking here you just, yeah. it's, the price is just gonna go up listen you know? for like 195 195 is you. nothing you'll get so much gold content out of me it'll be great so yeah i think it's probably worth your while yeah i, I would i would yeah you, like you know so if infrared if you're looking for a good value a good bang for your buck definitely 195 is all uh, you gotta pay yep it's not so right, bad it's not an infomercial for infrared yeah um, exactly i'll do although, an infomercial for that for sure so, do you, do you listen, 195 so got, will yeah, finance the imps for another week Oh my god. Seven day ban right from Twitch was what uh the fallout from the Sansol Dylan thing. And then are they still are they are they legal on YouTube or did they get banned there too? Oh I have no clue. I, I have no clue. Yeah, I didn't even Thank hear you, the, the uh, threats of violence or whatever uh actually got okay, so oh yeah. Um another chatter wants to know when uh when are you joining the uh infrared gang? When am I joining the infrared gang? As soon as I get my check for one ninety five. Come on, and then and and I'll, it, I'll gorilla rain, post with rain, the best of them. Uh, your thoughts on Huey Newton's take on the scientific method, how we're all ultimately uh, subjective, uh, that we cannot remove something from the conditions surrounding it and uh, find accurate observations and put theory into practice. We must acknowledge this. Um, I tend to believe that, uh, well, I mean, I just think it's a fact of reality that like we cannot, science is ultimately filtered through our senses. We can only interact with the world through inherently subjective means. So for example, um, we're not, we aren't machines and not, even if we were machines, we would still be limited to whatever devices allow us to, to contemplate the world. And those are, um, potentially flawed. Like for example, um, you know, we, uh, you know, our our sense of touch, our sense of taste, our sense of smell, our, our, our vision can, can be totally messed up. Our sense of hearing can have issues. We are, um, we are subject to even in some extreme cases, hallucinations. Now there are ways to like further verify the truth, but there is a point where we have to acknowledge that at the end of the day, we are ultimately, uh, everything that we take in, everything that we determine is subjective. And that should give us a, in my opinion, a, uh, a certain level of humility and a certain limit to how hard we're willing to claim objectivity on anything. Um, mm -hmm. and I think that like, again, like basically I I'm not aware of any serious, um, modern philosophers or, or thinkers that I know of who like would argue against the idea that like, um, we're, we're not like creatures of, of subjectivity and that most of our systems aren't ultimately, um, subjective, but that doesn't mean that like nothing matters and that science doesn't matter. Science is very, very useful and truth seeking is unbelievably valuable. It's just that we have to know that there is a line. There is a line that we can't cross, which is that we are, our minds exist 
as the result of a physical medium, a physical medium that is potentially flawed, that is very flawed, that can be totally um, compromised, in fact. And we have to recognize that. And it sucks. It sucks to be uncertain, but it's just a fact. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Like, I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, like, no matter what, how many levels of simulation we're experiencing right now, mm -hmm. I mean, you're still real, right, chat? having this conversation right so so we're both here right like Maybe. it's not like i'm some kind of a mathematical function talking to you or something like that i'm a real person and so are you yeah well i mean so the there's a lot of function inside me recognizes the mathematical function inside you chat yeah i'll praise the algorithm I'll there's, praise there's a great the algorithm. game there's a great game that touches on this so subject it's called uh pathologic 2 and you should play it if you're if you're interested Ooh. in those sort of things that sounds like fun. Yeah, no, absolutely. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, wait, we've got more questions for you um, sure. here. Uh, how did the slandering uh, affect the growth of your channel? Um, it's honestly probably a little too early to tell if it has. Um, I mean, um, we've had a slowing of subs um, and our stream numbers have not been growing to the same degree, but it's really hard to tell. Um, if that is a matter of uh, if that is a, a product of it being February um, or if it's a direct result of like the slander and stuff. Now, with regard to um, like my personal experience of YouTube, it's basically made it trash because um, like the video that I put out. Um, OK, so there's a few things. I, I guess there's a few ways I can handle this so that I took a week off of streaming because I couldn't focus on anything because there was so much shit going on um, like that uh so that did impact me obviously not doing three streams is three days of not getting paid for work and three days of not being in the algorithm it also meant that there was a delay on my posting schedule so i don't know how much it's very hard to tell that's like the direct effect i guess um the second effect of course when i did finally put out my video that video has a fuckload of of views and a fuckload of comments on it like literally thousands of comments most of which are horrible um so makes my comments segment completely useless um and uh that sucks um it also got like brigaded really hard um we had to lock down the discord for well over a week um because there was a t multiple attempts to brigade the discord um and we did get a lot of people who had to be banned we had people come in spamming the n-word stuff like that um uh that those people were banned thankfully it wasn't like um they we have enough like my server i have like an admin that i trust and work with and we have a whole team of mods so we had things in place to prevent severe like raiding and high and hijacking of the discord in the long run so on that front like the uh my my cyber security is good and fine um but it did suck that we had to lock it down and some people will always find a way to break through the cracks um and then we have had a bit of a slowing in sub growth the earlier this month we were on like a massive roll uh, mostly because I was doing like a lot of fresh content that had to do with relevant stuff, like my drama mama on the um, Joss Whedon situation. Um, I did a I did two really huge debates in a row, one with the l absolute legends Trihex and Hutch, and one with the other absolute legend Vosh. Um, that was the same week, got a huge amount of growth there, and since then we've had some you know slowdown because there's been such a distraction from being able to focus on the content and also people have not been going to watch those videos because the algorithm gets bent to anything that has to do with the drama um and whatever and that's terrible and i don't care because they don't stick around um so it's stupid it's kind of it, it, i don't know i don't know the exact extent but those are the ways that it's affected the channel um and um hopefully it won't affect the growth in the long run um i don't think it will really um something that i've learned about uh the this sort of drama bait or like like this drama baity type of content like when people try to do this most of the viewers don't stay around they come for the drama and they don't even subscribe like n most of the people who commented on the video were not subscribers of mine because you can see this stuff in, in youtube they're oh, not subscribers of mine so, they've never so watched other that, videos. That, that video that's got what 20k uh, views on it now the, oh mine the does not have made? anything mine has like actually i don't know let me see let me tell you how much it is i can actually get you this info real quick hold on my video my video just talking about the drama like not actually just literally stating for the record what happened and what my views were let me actually find out real quick i can i can give you the info on how much my video had on it 
But that's what you meant as far as people coming and not staying. Yeah, it's they just... don't stay. Uh, this one was do 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 do. It was a bit back. Uh, it has oh wow, I guess it does actually have almost that many. It has fourteen thousand views on it right now, twelve hundred comments, and then of course um oh yeah that for be, every that comment yeah so yeah so it's like um yeah quite a lot of views and um like thousands of like dislikes uh, over well over a thousand dislikes so this video but but they don't watch anything else the only in, in this case they do watch one other thing um which is that they did go and watch my previous debate um oh, with king yeah with the scrub king not not that one they watched the one with destiny because you know they're looking for destiny demon mama drama and so they find that one and um then they just put another identical negative comment on that one and then never watch anything else so it's uh interacting with and even responding to the drama outside of like the like again my video is not monetized or anything the only thing i really wanted to do was have an opportunity to give my side of the story um to some degree um and uh, other than that, it's not given me anything. It's been a giant waste of my time. And they don't stick around. They don't contribute to the content at all. They just come in to fucking cause shit, and then they leave. And uh, I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, that was a long answer, but I wanted to give, like, an honest and total, like, you know, experience of, no, what, I, of what it I, has I been. Feel, yeah. I feel that it, it's frustrating how much people uh, are there for the drama and not for, you know, the important things you have to say. Well, I mean, um, even if they would just check out a few others, they might find they like some of my content, but that doesn't right, really happen. Yeah. 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 How can, can you give us more? Uh, it, oh, they want more details on the. It, this is uh, this is uh, a community member that is that, that I told them about the imps code. Oh yeah. And they're yeah. curious about the uh, M. They want to go in depth on the M. Yeah. Um, the meme and cream. So memes. Okay. So two things that do really really well on Twitter are memes. And creams. And when I say creams, I mean like horny posting, basically. Now, you have to do that responsibly, obviously. I don't recommend mixing uh, business and horny posting unless horny posting is your business. Um, but both of these things are really successful on Twitter. They just do unbelievable numbers. And therefore, they will get people to follow your account. They will get people to retweet your stuff. They will – you'll get a lot of interaction, which is – which weights your account in the algorithm. So memes and creams are fucking really good for you. Um, it, you it, might get booped. You might get a snoop boop once in a while. You might get put in horny jail on the maybe. rare occasion. You might. You might. But hopefully. most of the time, that's not the case. You, and yeah, the thing is, like, people, the, the memes on Twitter are great. Like, for the most part. There's some fucking good ass memes and there's some I mean, fucking Twitter's good ass really creams on Twitter. To afford that yeah, sort of it thing. is. I feel like that's the level that you should be engaging on. Yeah. Like, and that's why I say that's why I have the M's in there because the M in there is because it's like, hey, you will have fun if you just meme and cream on Twitter. Like, if if you're not gonna if you don't do anything else on Twitter, you can at least enjoy memes. People reposting memes, these great meme threads. Like last night, I was reading this fucking. Okay, so there's a couple of accounts I've really been enjoying on Twitter lately that are meme accounts. One of them is Insane People Tweets, um, which you know, pardon the ableism in the title, but Jesus Christ, that account is hilarious. Um, it's just the most absurdest tweets, usually hyper aggressive people, like going way like out of nowhere or Super just first content uh, yeah yeah it's cursed this is ridiculously cursed content and um and then there's another one that was called the one that i was enjoying last night which is called uh it is a it is one of those ag like bot aggregators that does like from reddit and it was like it's a reddit it's an account that posts the titles of um posts from two sentences two two sentence horror stories and they're just so bad, but it's so funny. And the, just to read them out of context, like see the title and, the, and now those are good. That stuff succeeds on Twitter. And that's why meme and cream is in the imps code because it's something that you will have fun with and it's good for you on Twitter. Um, basically yeah. the, the imps code is not like, I've said this many times, it's not a moral code. It's a handbook on how to use Twitter better um, yeah. and have more fun on Twitter personally. Because like, I, I like now, I have recognized now that there are some limits to it. It cannot per make the Twitter experience 100% good. If you get fucking, if you get the ire of a large community on your ass, you're not going to enjoy Twitter. It's just not going to be fun. You won't be able to use it because of the way Twitter is designed. However, for the general user, the imps code is more than enough. Yeah. So. Yep. Definitely. Um, what they say, um, yeah, I, I, I emphasize that, like, the idea is that, like, you know, you, um, the end game of the imps code is that if somebody really wants to get at you, they'll talk to you on stream, and then that makes yeah. content for you. 
right? Yeah, yeah. Whereas, you know, and you can have maybe a good discussion, you know, maybe, maybe they came in bad faith, but they like actually listened to you. Maybe like, you know, they had a point that you didn't realize, you know, like there's all kinds of good things that can have I've had come that happen many times. engagement when it happens on your stream, when the engagement happens on Twitter, holy shit, you might agree with the person and you're fucking tearing each other's faces off just because you're misunderstanding. That happens all the fucking time. And Twitter loves it. The algorithm loves it. They're like, yes, yes, you're doing it for it. And if yeah. you're doing work for Twitter, guess what? Twitter's not working for you. Well, and you it's won't make money off you. Twitter. You're not going to fucking make any money off your Twitter posts. The, the like, y you have to like, remember, like the discourse is not worth it. The thing is discourse can't actually happen on Twitter. And I've talked about this many times. I don't want to like bore everyone with it, but discourse just, it, Twitter is a discourse destruction machine. It won't happen. Even if you don't bring people to your, to your, um, to your channel or anything like that, you could just talk to them on discord or in DMS. And it's like, holy shit like that would be your life would be so much better if you just went for that instead of trying to sort things out on on twitter because it will yeah. will make you go crazy like twitter is um twitter is just so bad for any type of meaningful conversation it just destroys context it breaks things into un unreadable threads it's terrible so yeah there, there's two reasons for the you know for that part of the imps code it's just like it's like get it off twitter whether it's to put it to a more productive platform like twitch where you can twitch or youtube where you can like why not make money while you're dis dis disagreeing over something and do so face to face instead of on twitter um whether it does that or if it just gets you to talk about it in private in dms where you can actually have a real conversation that has a record you know that people can remember what was said either one of those is a good outcome in my book true true yeah uh, let's see uh lace Argar says, "I see in the background that Unionos Amazon sign. Yeah, are you an active? Are you active in the Unionosphere? Unionosphere. Uh, I'm not super active in the Unionosphere um, right now. Though last year I did, uh, I did go to a couple of demonstrations. One of them I got the sign at, and it was a really cool event, uh, and it was very inspiring." Um, so I've been keeping my, uh, my support for that up in the background. Plus it's become kind of an iconic part of my stream background. So people like it, but yeah, I, I, I haven't really been super involved I and mean, because of COVID, I've just been basically hiding in my house, um, for most of the year. Um, but previous to COVID, there were some events that I went to and I was involved with a couple of, um, mutual aid groups in this area. Um, but it's really hard to do so, um, during COVID safely and um yeah so yeah, yeah that's a that's yeah. the quick answer but but i am a, i am a little bit plugged into that sort of shit and i am a member of a union and and um so yeah okay the next question is um that bear's head in the background mm -hmm. is that in case a golden freddy attacks you um it's actually in case um Actually, it doesn't really have that much of a of a meaningful purpose. It's it's just the head from the um, cuddle team leader on F Fortnite, and I did a stream where I played Fortnite, and I've always for like I've actually I used to play Fortnite a lot, um, and uh, I I have always played with the the cuddle team leader skin since it came out because I love it, and um, and so. Yeah, I, I, I decided, I found one cheap online that was, like, it was from Spirit Halloween, and I was like, oh my god, this would be so funny as a gag on stream, and so I bought it on an impulse, and then um, slapped it on for a segment in which we were talking, we were trying desperately to make the hearings, the Trump impeachment hearings, like, or the, yeah, I think it was the Trump impeachment hearings, like, we were trying to make it desperate, like, desperately trying to make it entertaining, because it was boring as shit, but also, you know, important to go through, um, and uh and so yeah i put on the head and i was like talking about nancy pelosi with the fucking giant bear head on and it was very silly and but we had fun so yeah uh it, i do i i do appreciate the uh, fnaf reference but this one is technically from fortnite i would want to steal the uh, valor of fortnite there oh my god i'm trying to find that fortnite song do you know what i'm talking about which one something the... fortnite time to get down like oh, i don't know that one I know the. Chat, I know the. You know what I'm talking about. Do you know. I, I know the dances. Song, I mean, song. It's like a kid. Da, it's like da, a kid. Da, da, like... Da, 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 da. Anyway, the default anyway. dance. Da, 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 da. No, no, it's like a meme uh, song that people have been playing on streams and stuff. I don't. Oh my I god. Into Fortnite. I suck at like. I'm just afraid. Like I oh, never. Oh, somebody. Into, like, I see a good question, chat. Oh my god. 
Oh, there's another good question. I see one. Do you want to do you want to take that one? And yeah, I'll, I'll take it. I'll one? take that one. John Gazebo, you're wondering what my me praying is. Hold on a second. I'll give you a special treat. Listen, just for you. This is just for you, John Gazebo. This is for you and the and the 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 chat, the the the, the no comment Spicy chat. chat. Hello, everyone. It is I, the unholy mackerel. And if you want to know what any of this means, you'll have to watch my videos. You can just look up um, holy mackerel on Demon Mama's channel, and you'll find exactly what I'm talking about. But I am the unholy mackerel, which is better than the holy mackerel. So, One step beyond, chat. One step beyond. So there um, you have it. Ha have either um, of you honestly, the... the uh... The the uh, the whole thing was about um, there's this really wild um, Catholic cult, uh, like extreme right wing Catholic cult, and we discovered their channel a bit back. Uh, somebody in my audience tipped me off on it, and then in our exploring of their content, we found out that they have like a this like skit series that has to do with um that has it's it's like it's called like Holy Mackerel, and it's about a fish that will beat the shit out of you if you eat meat on fridays because catholics aren't supposed to eat meat, meat, oh. eat meat on fridays and as it turns out like as um as time has gone on uh we learned that like actually the person who makes the holy mackerel like videos is like pretty funny and even though it's like ultimately in the service of like this horrible Christian cult, the skits themselves are quite hilarious. And so we found the exact masks that they use for Holy Mackerel. And you can actually see right over my shoulder here, Holy Cow, another one of the characters from the series. And we've made a whole thing out of it. Um, yeah. Oh, I did. I just put the mask on Louis Vuitton. Don't you worry. But yeah, so pretty fun. Yeah, we also have art of it that's been drawn. We sh uh, in in exploring the um, the lore of this series because there's six seasons of Holy Mackerel. Um, we discovered that uh, that that like there's definitely some sexual tension between a couple of the characters, um, and we've made some some art which you can see. Uh, I don't know how I will get this to your chat, but you can you can here. I'll send it to you, and then we can go from there here. Let's just yeah. here. You can you can send this to your chat to see the fan art that we've made, and 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 please like feel free to check out our videos on it. We have a couple of videos on it that are pretty funny. Uh, yeah, Loney Mac, Loney Mac. I see, I see. We got a Loney Mac fan in chat. Hell yeah! So we've had fun. Yeah. Oh, and on, so, oh yeah, um, we have Unholy Cow, which is my version. Yeah. Unholy Cow. Yeah, yeah. I'm unholy. I'm I'm unholy mac. The unholy mackerel and the unholy cow are my versions of it. Because you know, obviously, I don't want to. I don't want to. You don't want to get into any of that holy stuff on you. Yeah, that's stuff. Yeah, but burn. but also, like you know, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Like you know, encroach on their copyright. Um, true, true. That's a good point. That's a good point. Just put that un on there, and you should be fine. Um, have either of you read the Fourth World War has begun by Subcommandant Marcos? Oh my God, is this bizarreism? No, it's, I don't know about uh, that. Not that wrong. I would highly recommend it when you have uh, free time. You can okay. find it for free on the internet. Okay. It sounds like some facadism. Is that facadism stuff? I, I'm I'm down yeah, with facadism. It's me? very that, interesting that, to me. Are there any dolphins on that? Are there any space comrades on that? Any space comrades in chat? Any sea comrades in chat? We I have at least one in my chat, and one in the administration of this server. Oh my god. Oh, it's the Zapatistas. Interesting. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. So good. Oh my god! Thank you, chat. That was awesome. Are you? Are we? Are we getting uh, sent Twitter links to react to? Oh, that's the that's the art that I was I was telling you that oh, we've made about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Lonely Mac. Um, we made a ship between two of the characters in the um, in oh the uh, Holy Mac. Yeah, so it, it's quite good. Um, I highly recommend oh, wow. checking out my videos on on. Uh, they're mu it's much more enjoyable to watch with me in my chat than it is to just watch them straight. Um, plus, you don't have to. If, if I do it, you don't have to wade through the horrible, homophobic, xenophobic, transphobic bullshit on the rest of their website. Sucks. Oh, hey, Demon Mama, this is the part of the uh, of the interview where I, I asked you to hook me up with a, a bigger streamer that you may or may not know. So here's the one. Here's the ask. The ask is Mimsy from Snortlings Hollow. Can you get me 
Mimsy from Snortlings Hollow. Oh, I don't, got, I don't know. I haven't covered that person yet, so I oh, wish, but yeah. I haven't yet. No. You know who I'm talking about, though, right? I could probably, yeah, I could, but I could, I could probably provoke uh, the people from the Church Militant, uh, the 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 Loney Mac people. Uh, I could probably provoke them into some sort of um, conflict, but also it might endanger my ability to get future content from them. So, Ooh, yeah. I don't know if I can do. I don't know if I can do Snortling's Hollow because I don't really yeah. know. But but I guess I'm just trying to get maybe that. Hannah got, Reloaded. Got... You might want to communicate with Hannah Reloaded or so. I've, so I've Ooh, heard. That's a good yeah. idea. Yeah, Hannah and Shu is the other one I know that's done some Snortling's Hollow uh, con. Actually, done some uh, content with uh, Mimsy. I guess is her. Uh, the puppet master behind uh, Snortling's Hollow. Mimsy, yeah, yeah. I've, I've got a great idea for a debate with puppets. It's a lost episode of Birds, Bird Brains that I forgot that we shot with non-compete in the puppets. And I think that Mimsy was there too. I, it's like a dream that I, I just like had this big memory, um, memories of dreams, dreams of memories. You know, it was like yeah. this weird kind of thing where it's like there, but it's not there. You know, I like it, and um, so yeah, living so somewhere in a, in like a like a liminal space it or whatever. It, it's it's packed away somewhere in my room, and I haven't seen it since we moved. But we're gonna get that lost episode out, and we're gonna find that it happens to be all about take my string. It happens to be there's a very famous incident of some someone doing a little bit of a take my string. Oh, Super sure. jump woman. I can't believe you'd call me an incel. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see some some cool shit with those puppets. All so right, that a, sounds great. Ready to go and hopefully that collab um will be uh out and you'll be able to see the lost uh, episode and Lost and episode the, uh, sounds great. Top, it's just like right, it's like ripped from the headlines or something. I don't know. I don't know what's up with this shit, but it's it's pretty hey, amazing. Sounds great. Yeah, so Oh, her main beef was with Jake. Oh, that is makes sense. Nancy? Jake, Jake's a spicy. Jake's a spicy boy with the heart of a Jake cat. Jake is so spicy. Yeah, I always forget how spicy he is until yeah. I watch his stream, and I'm like, whoa. Spicy, spicy corn boy with the heart of a cat. I just uh, remember. Did you ever watch the um, when they did the um, when they did the chick tracks together? No, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen. That. I've oh. heard that series is really good, but uh, I've I've watched amazing. a lot of chick track content in the past. Um, oh, so you're familiar with it? A little familiar, a little, little bit. It's a Art. little. I've seen it a lot. Yeah, but <laughs> but I I really love uh, I really love Jake and Hannah's stuff. I I watch Hannah's stream from time to time. So yeah, oh, I know yeah, everybody wants me to do the chick tracks too. I know we should probably do them at some. I know they're still going, which is kind of wild. But Are yeah, they real. Oh, even though Chick's dead. Yeah, I think his I think his organization is still making them. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, of course they gotta gotta keep the tradition alive. Yeah. Well, I was expecting I was expecting more spicy um spicy questions, honestly. But but if 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 anybody if anybody well, has any last yeah, so, questions before I yeah, head out, yeah, some of the people that would have maybe asked you some of those spicy questions are a little less excited to be in my community yeah. at the moment uh considering that i'm a little bit more critical uh than they initially thought towards yeah, uh that's... towards people with bad takes even though we don't hate people for bad takes right we we're here to affect the discourse we're here to participate in the discourse we're not here to necessarily get personal with people just because they want to just because they want to roll you know they can they can find another jujitsu partner i've got uh, i've got other things on my uh, schedule but yeah yeah no like um it's uh anybody got spicy anybody it's gonna bring the spice anybody does any no one has a not even one person has a hot take for me fine fine yeah you will i thought this was the hot take economy the take economy, yeah, it was part of the take industrial complex. Actually. The hot take industrial industrial complex. It's all oh, right. You though. have a spicy dizzy says. Oh shit. Dizzy, you got a spicy. Aw. Uh, Do I really you, want spicy? I mean, the thing I is, think I don't you can handle spicy as long as it's not like you this don't has be been a dick, a, this has but... been a really calm and straightforward conversation. And so, yeah, if people have questions, if, they, if people have like a burning question that they want to ask me, this is your opportunity. It's been like a chill thing. I can. Um, what was my opinion on Takis? Oh, I really like Takis. Um, the thing is, I can't eat a whole lot of spicy food because I have, like, everybody who I I sound like a fucking old piece of shit saying all this shit. But it's like I my stomach is, like, really, really sensitive um, after a surgery I had, like, a year, two years ago. Um, so, I like, spicy food, I can't eat a whole lot of it. But I fucking love Takis. Takis are so goddamn good. Yeah, they're so good. Um... 
Yeah, chat has a hot take you uh, for you, but don't worry, they're pretty pilled on it. Oh, okay. So everything should be fine. Nice. You, 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 it's always good when you. Always good to be. Off with yeah. That, those words. Some, I'm gonna. I'm. I. I didn't. I never thought that like in the modern era that the fucking pill removers was gonna be a, a necessary tool. Tool, but I, I find myself ordering a battery operated pill remover uh, every single day. I think get oh closer and closer to actually ordering it. Kingdom Hearts never had a genuinely good wrong! game. Wrong! Wrong! Now that is a hot take, and I will debate you on that. You are dead wrong about that. Most people a genuinely good game, well, both, right? No, both one and two were, were genuinely I good like games. I like Birth by Sleep, but that's just maybe more character-driven for See, me. See, I haven't played Birth by Sleep, so... Uh, but yeah, no, um, they're both good. So, yeah. Whoever said that, yeah, I Jesus I think Christ. people get frustrated, though, because they, like... They play them and then they want something from part three and there's no way they could have delivered on on part three. Like, do you know what I mean? They had yeah, so many storylines. I haven't played it. Going. I've heard there's good things. Apparently the uh the like the like fin the like final mix version is actually amazing. Like they made like a, apparently they made a lot of I've been told that they made Wait, a lot of changes. Um oh, it I like it's like the... just come out, I think. Um yeah, so um, yeah, because I got the I got the compendium that's like ever. The yeah, story and now is, now everyone in chat is saying Final Mix is so good. Yeah, apparently they <sighs> made like in Final Mix they made a lot of changes to like they like tweaked up the combat a lot and did a lot of numbers tweaks and oh. they changed a lot of stuff. So there's like actually been a lot of gameplay changes that apparently makes it oh, very wow. good, which is cool. So oh, that is really cool because yeah, I mean like even if you're not like super satisfied and nobody's gonna be satisfied with the story, especially. Yeah, there was no way they could be like, we're gonna get like Shion's story, we're gonna complete that Aqua story, like every single one of the all the foretellers, they just had so many characters. It's like they just keep on adding characters and then they were like had to like somehow wrap everybody's at least touch on everybody's like story and they 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 did what they could. I don't I don't know if there was any way to 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 save everybody's well, I mean like they did save everybody, but they didn't like you know, really give everyone the time that, that all those fandoms like wanted. Yeah, it's pretty tough I, I mean the story of 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 kingdom hearts is kind of a a mess but it's like a lovable mess you know yeah, it's one of those things you don't is. really you don't really you don't really play kingdom hearts for like the coherent story there's this video this really great video online that's just like playing a it's lecture? like it's like no it's like this it's this oh. this little video that's like playing kingdom hearts as an adult and it's just like oh great uh, another cutscene. and then like the guy's just sitting there and it's like and then it's just like well, Gorsh, Sora, have you tried looking into the darkness within your heart and seeing if there's light within? And then it's just like, and then like the Donald, the Donald voice comes in. It's like, rawr, 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 and the guy's like, Jesus fucking Christ. And he takes his headphones off. <laughs> it's just like true. That is like kind of the experience. The story is a little bit silly and, and ridiculous, but. And Donald never heals anyway. me. Although I've heard he's good at healing you in three. I've heard he's better at healing. Oh yeah, three. I'm sure. I'm sure they finally got that working. Yeah. He would always heal. He would waste a potion on me when I was like almost full, and then when I really when I'm about to die, he never heals me. But anyway, that's probably more about my relationship with Donald than it is about you know uh, the potions or anything else. That's yeah, yeah. Um, oh my God. So uh, a few questions I see. Yeah, yeah quite a few. Um, let me see which one was next. Oh my God, I'm. Do you have Chatterino? Do you use Chatterino? That's a question for me, by what's, the way. What's Chatterino? It's like some kind of third party app that supposedly makes chat easier to read, so it's not so unwieldy. Oh, uh, no, because I use uh, I have my own site chat. It's its own it's its own thing. Okay, is it yeah. nice to use at least? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, my site chat is like fucking amazing. Like uh, oh. white white leaf the white leaf chat thing, which is like uh, it's very it's it's the same as the one that VGG uses. So if you've ever used VGG chat, then you've probably um you've probably used the, the exact same thing as mine the but it's super yeah. easy to manage and like the only thing it's like the only thing it kind of is like lacking is it doesn't have twitch like uh, mod view but it might happen someday we might have a mod view at some point which would be pretty it's a cool. lot for white nervosa to handle I yeah yeah but does white like nervosa is amazing. like amazing and yeah she's got a lot of vision for this project it just will take a little bit of time to get it uh to get so it cool. all put into yeah. place yeah okay um I can make a coherent argument as to why uh, trans women are biologically women and not in the socially constructed sense mm -hmm. that trans men are biologically men, uh, that trans, that non-binary people are biologically not, wait, is that an answer to something or is that a question? Okay. It was highlighted. So I thought it was a question. Oh, I don't know if it's, you want to comment on that or. Um, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure there's probably some arguments you go, can make. Maybe they're going to go. Oh no, there's hot take number two. Yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, to be honest, I'd be open to hearing some sort of thing like that. I don't really 
I like on a personal level, I don't really care whether people are biologically anything. I don't think that that matters for any, mm -hmm. any part of our lives. The, like all of our, all of our society, it's in the name. We live in a society, but we live in a, in a world of social constructs and, so, and, and social contracts. And that's all that matters. So to me, I don't really care about the biology of, of anything. I think there's, uh, I think, like, I think that the, that the information can be valuable in certain contexts. Like for example, learning about biology is very helpful for medicine, but when we try to apply like, um, like essentialist or bi biologically essentialist positions to society, I think it's almost always folly because that's not what it's designed for. Like our biology should be used to like figure out what medicines our body can absorb, not like how we treat each other. That's the way I look at it. Yeah, that makes but I'm sure sense. that I'm sure there's a case that it could be made, and I would be interested to hear it, of course. But it's not I'm like to me. It big, really... I'm, I'm becoming a big woke scold on certain words. Not really, but there's certain words that I get sick of hearing. Like one of those words is transgenderism, because to <sighs> me, yeah. when people say that, I get I don't know. Do you think that like my identity is a philosophy? Do you think oh, yeah. that I am like you know a, a part of a project to like you know uh, evangelize the world to get you all to change your you know gender or something like that like it's not, it's bizarre and it's absurd and i think it's really destructive cuz like turfs will use that and they do, people don't realize that's like kind of where it comes from yeah right? well i mean it's like it's like the term I'm transsexual trans right people yeah. i'm arguing against the transgenderism it's like yeah. you know and it's like no my the identity ideology. is not uh, up for debate asshole yeah. Yeah, and it, it's um, also it has it has certain ties to like like kind of like how the term transsexual, um, you know, is is uh, yeah, it's hyper medicalized, but also like it was heavily used um, as a term to be exclusive by Blanchard, you know, like so. There's oh, a lot God. of politics and and oh, baggage God. there. Yeah, so I I do I it does make alarm bells go off in my head, though I know some people say it unintentionally. Yeah, that's the other thing is I, 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 I can't go full woke scold on them just because like I realized that like it's language. It sounds like, you know, if you're looking for a word for like transness or something like that, yeah. then you, you might pick up that word. But I'm always trying to say to them, if you're looking for that word, maybe try trans rights, maybe try trans liberation. That, that might be more along the lines of like, you know, what you're trying to say. The other word is like biologically male. You know what I mean? I just feel like it's such a um it, it feels like an end run around my identity do you know yeah. what i mean it yeah. feels like yeah yeah i feel i feel you 100 percent on that yeah not a big fan of that okay um why do people continuously stand vosh and destiny just oh wow we are getting spicy huh all right let's hear uh, pepe it. la d and pepe la v uh, despite repeated instances of both of these idiots either participating in or avidly supporting rhetoric that targets marginalized people uh -oh. um i can't answer that for destiny but i can tell you why for vosh at least uh and sure this might sound like my bias but i don't really fucking care this is my personal opinion um and also my personal experience and that is that people stand vosh because even though vosh has had bad takes he tends to hold himself pretty strongly accountable especially these days to his bad takes i mean he has had them who hasn't every literally every person i think vosh has made some pretty big missteps in the past um but he also is like incredibly incredibly um respectful on a on a general level to most other creators um also actually supports the space puts a lot of his time and money back into the space that he works in um is like like very like literally he's been hugely supportive to me so obviously again i have a bias but like that is that's the thing right like if somebody actually goes out of their way to help your channel succeed that's pretty great um, and, and like, I think that people don't give him credit for how willing he's, he's been able, he's been willing to in the past, like actually own up to and talk about at length his mistakes that he's made in the past. So I think that's why yeah. he's, why people still stand him. Um, I don't really know. I can't really speak for destiny because, um, you know, I, again, I don't think that he's on, I don't think he does that same thing. Um, uh, but maybe he does, maybe some people see that and that's fine if they do. So. And I don't think that like Vosh is like some perfect person. I just understand why a lot of people feel comfortable. Um, and also there's another reason for it too. And this one is like a little bit less of like about Vosh as a person and more about like the type of community that Vosh has built is mm -hmm. that Vosh's community um, for the most part uh, feels safer to a lot of people than other communities. Even if Vosh himself isn't like the most perfect hot, like take machine, um, Vosh's community is run in such a way that it generally um, makes a space that's actually safe for people to discuss stuff and feel accepted.
and that's pretty good. Even if uh, even if you don't like Vosh as a person, that's an, that's a feat, and I think that um, that like people should be able to recognize that that like hey there's something going there's something being done correct whether it's in the choice of who's moderating the space which i happen to think that um you know vermin uh does a really good job with um with vosh's discord in fact vosh's discord was a huge inspiration for my own discord um mm -hmm. not the only one um there was a couple of different discords that were highly inspir inspirational interestingly rgr's discord was the most inspirational discord to my own um and uh largely because of the how um robust and and reasonable the mod team was um mm -hmm. which is why where where like but somewhere in the ballpark of those two discords um was where i was like okay i want my discord to be something in this ball ballpark where people know that they're safe here they can engage in you know they can go into the arena channel and go debate with each other really hardcore but know that they're not going to be subjected to like harassment or anything like that and if anything like that is to happen that our mods will take action immediately and make people um stay so i think that's probably the reason why i think those are like the reasons like, that is a spicy question i will admit but there's my honest opinion mm -hmm. in this economy um oh god uh, let me try uh wait oh the i don't know what the economy part was about but um final fantasy 13 is the best final fantasy and is only exceeded by the gucci shoot wait there was a gucci shoot i know there was a gucci thing for jojo was there a gucci thing for final fantasy Yay or nay? Okay, they're, they're that's a that's a that's approve. a big nay for me. Um, that's gonna be have, that's gonna have to be a big nay. Um, I don't know what the best Final Fantasy People is though. Said that the the sequel to thirteen, like the, the the it makes more sense after the sequels. But I swear to God, I played that game uh, through. Thirteen was just like like I didn't so boring. What happened. I just they thought the gameplay was films. boring. Like I thought I the gameplay was dreadful. The I, I was okay with the once I got into that like what was it called paradigms? You shift your paradigm and stuff like that. I kind of started to have fun with it eventually, but yeah, it was really different for me because I'd only played, like, what did I play? Like, I think I played 8 and 10. And I've played tactics. 2, I've played 2, 4, 7, 8, 10, or 9, 10, uh, 11, 14, and 15. And a Damn. little bit of 13. Um, and... I've got to say, you know, I have a, my heart will always have a soft spot for Final Fantasy seven. Um, I did, somebody says nobody liked eight, but I did like eight. Um, I liked seven, eight and nine. I thought were really good. I really liked 10 and I've actually played 10 recently, relatively recently, like a year yeah. and a half ago. Um, I, uh, watched, I like basically played it with my partner. Um, and help them make like you know like basically I was a backseat gamer oh, um, and it was super super good and and it ages really well like Final Fantasy X has aged really well like you can go back and play it right now and even the graphics and are the like music a little bit is like so like that song of the, the hymn of the faith like that yeah. like that actually oh, 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 I could meditate to that and I don't really meditate oh, <laughs> to ADD to meditate. Eight, listen, the only reason that people don't realize that eight is the best is because they don't remember that we were all in the same orphanage as kids, five head. Come yeah, on, don't that's you remember? What it was. Yeah. Also, uh, Final Fantasy IX is underrated because a lot of people just kind of bounced off of the aesthetic of, of nine. It had like this very like carnival aesthetic, um, but it's fucking good. That game is really good and the music is God tier. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, FF6 is one like that I really that. want to play. Oh yeah, and Triple Triad was so good. I Triple Triad was fucking good. love that shit. Also, you, I really like you... 14, but yeah. Oh god, I gotta still play that. See, I've got this huge backlog. People are like, you gotta play Chrono Trigger. You gotta like, I started playing. Oh, you some gotta of play the... Chrono Trigger. Like, Chrono Trigger like, is I... the like. I think. Oh god, I don't. I don't know. Maybe that's too hot. It's pretty damn good. Like I don't cons like it's not a Final Fantasy mainline title, but it absolutely lives up to the spirit of Final Fantasy. Plus it has fucking uh all the like art that was done, all the promotional art for it was done by Akira Toriyama, the artist who did Dragon Ball Z. Like it's like wild. Oh, so like literally okay, but I thought, yeah. I thought it looked I thought they were ripping off his style. It was actually the same artist. It was actually though. him. Yeah, it was him. Yeah, he did it. And nice. um it's also like has an un unbelievably good soundtrack that like 
and also it's aged like very very well as far as like super nintendo um rpgs go it's got a fast enough combat that you can actually enjoy playing it to this day plus it has this unique system of like um positioning and uh combos that is really mm -hmm. cool you have to play it to understand but it's a really good game and it absolutely holds up great story great music great art just chrono trigger is one of the best that square ever did so oh god yeah i've got such a backlog and i never do it because there's too much to cover there's always something going on that i like need to catch up with or need to watch on stream in order to just stay current let alone to like you know really um cover my my whole beat so like i i don't get to do enough but right these days i've been working on persona 2 Ooh. i went back to the um to the old school uh shit and it is it's it's pretty cool it's pretty amazing it's got a lot of like um the character design wasn't what it was in persona 3 through 5 right yeah. but it was like they were a little bit more free they didn't have to make all the characters like they weren't always going for beautiful with the characters i yeah. guess in the way that they you know came to sort of do. So got a little like smushed character. later on yeah yeah that's cool i know a lot of people who are fans of the persona series i have never played them so i'm like a little out of the loop on those games but um like Almost everyone I know is at least to it, some degree a fan of them. So <laughs> I think you would like them. There, there, there's a lot of yeah. Have you played a SMT or any other mm -hmm. Atlas games? Nope. Uh, I've oh, played wow. Catherine, uh, which is an Atlas game, which I have thoughts about. But I've um, heard, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, I've never played it, but yeah. Other than that, it's an interesting game, I guess. Uh, but but yeah, no, I haven't really gotten into that whole thing. So yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a very you uh, game. It's all about like you're, you're instead of it's like Final Fantasy, but instead of like you know your players, you've got like demons or wait oh, no, sounds they, awesome. In Good. SMT, they, it is a party of demons. In Persona, it's like every person has a demon that they can summon. So yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. What else do we have? Um. Have you seen the bi gay trans characters that were introduced in World of Warcraft? Yeah, I have. Um. Some of them, like I mean, I think some of them were a little bit like I mean here's the thing some of them are really good characters I, I, honestly the new expansion of world of warcraft is really fun i just can't keep up with that. i've been way too busy with stream but yeah they've added quite a lot of um of like more of a diverse cast they've been doing that act excuse me they've been doing that actually um for a little while um they uh they at i think there was a there was a trans character in legion but it was a side story that most people never played and now they've gotten the, and then in um in battle for azeroth they added like i think a couple of gay characters and then now they've added like an explicitly trans character who's a main character of a storyline and that's pretty cool um in my in my opinion like obviously there's some things that are still a little bit like cringe i mean one of the gay characters in um in the newest expansion of world of warcraft it's like one of those things where like it's like hey can you do this fetch quest for me and you're like oh okay i'll go deliver this um package to the person and then they open up and they're like it's flowers oh it's flowers from my girlfriend you delivered flowers from my girlfriend isn't that cool thank you for helping us be gay together and you're like yeah okay but it's like it's one of those where it like kind of hits you over the head with it but it's still pretty right. still good anyway still cute anyway and there's a lot of other stuff that's very that's actually commendable so i'm very happy to see that they've decided to um to branch out a little bit why did mickey mouse take off his shirt that one time did he in kingdom hearts i think they're talking about like oh. there's some, there's something about he has his no shirt in kingdom hearts one but then he has a shirt in kingdom like it's the same scene but like he looks different and it's like either a retcon or oh i don't know i don't know about that specific thing a wizard did yeah, it yeah yeah I correct mariner a wizard that. did it it was a wizard a wizard i, I promise Yen it was said, a wizard yeah, yeah. there we go Yen said fixed there's your explanation um yep. yeah amab and afab can also be used in those same kind of ways is it really holding yourself accountable when a f oh wow we're kept following up on the the question mm -hmm. from before uh when a few weeks later you do it again and have to make another video calling yourself into account um i don't know maybe i'd have to talk i'd have to to like know exactly what's being referred yeah. to um yeah i mean it could be um people make mistakes people take time to learn and uh hey i'd rather have somebody who calls them who makes a mistake and then calls themselves into account every time they make that mistake and really tries to get better than somebody who just ignores ignores it and blazes onward doing harm 
So maybe, um, maybe not. It could be that they're just like not honest or whatever, but like it could also just be that people take time to fix mistakes and people have uh, struggles grasping things and maybe they're just being honest about it. I don't know. Like I try to give charitability to people as much as possible, um, though I do recognize like I, I had a I had a big conversation um, recently about like the importance of building trust and um, trust is really fucking important. Um, and as it turns out, sometimes, even if you don't do things, even if you do everything right, but you don't like pay attention to build, like caring for the trust of your community, they might not trust you. And for some people, they're not going to have that. Like there's going to be some people whose thresholds for trust are lower and that's fine. Yeah. You don't have to like everybody. So true. Yeah. 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 They, they, I feel like there should be more like middle ground as far as that goes of like, you know, you could be mad at somebody without being like, you know, burning the bridge there's just like too much of that and uh, like a lot of it's like this like pattern that's gotten set forward by like i feel like in some ways we're like reliving like you know what was created by destiny and bosch uh back in the skeptics to some degree back in the day that a lot of those like you know patterns that got set forth um, way back are still sort of I mean they do they don't stay the same they do change like what do they say history um, doesn't exactly repeat itself but it does often rhyme I mean um, yeah I think there's truth to that I mean I think it's I think it's not even like necessarily like the matter of like this the characters being involved it's just that like online spaces are um, Online spaces are uh, vulnerable to certain flaws. Like on the internet, people's um, memories are really short. And most of the time when people make a mistake, they just brush it under the rug and know that like 10 days from then, there's going to be so many new subs that never even knew it happened, um, you know, depending on the size of the channel. So I don't know. It is complicated. Online, online accountability is something I don't think that we figured out yet. I don't think we figured out how to do that. And so for now, we're just in a space where it's like, you have to make your own conclusions, do your best research and, and, you know, try to sort of, uh, I don't know what the word is. Like you, you want to try to put together your own case for people, whether you trust them or not. And I don't blame people who don't trust, uh, X content creator. I do think it's a little harmful when people normalize just like saying whatever the fuck you want without any claims about content creators. Um, you know, cause I've seen a lot of really spur, I mean, obviously about myself, uh, obviously that's what we spent most of this time talking about, but other creators as well. I've seen people, um, call like, I I've seen people call content creators that I, that I know that like the most horrible things imaginable with zero evidence. And I think that's really irresponsible. I think people should like dial it back, but if people have critiques or don't trust somebody like Vosh, that's, that's their prerogative and they have probably have good reasons for it. That's fine. Um, yeah. but people are going to have different conclusions. Um, and you know, uh, if you're, I don't know, I, I, I think that, I think it's not so simple as like, have they fucked up once or twice, then that's the end of the world for them. And anyway, at the end of the day, again, I would always prefer somebody who will call themselves out every time they fuck up and actually leave that up for the record than somebody who will just ignore it and pretend it never happened. Yeah. Yeah, true. true. Yep. Yeah. I mean, the way, it's like, it's like the internet, the natural progression of things. Yeah. Like, right. If we don't, pay attention if we just like let thing put things on autopilot the natural progression is that we're gonna like end up projecting our inner stuff onto each other yeah and fighting over things that we don't really have that much of a like you know i mean if you've got to fight you've got to fight if you've got like interests that are antithetical right the way that the like capitalist class interests are antithetical to those of the proletariat right mm -hmm. there are some things that aren't resolvable yeah. but a lot of things can be you know dissolved right yeah, and, yeah. i um, agree that's... a lot of things can be worked forward from but it's very hard to do so um it's very hard to do so with the chaos of of most online platforms and and, and also like that you, can you need a, tr a partner that you can actually trust in that right yeah Not... of course yeah. yeah yeah i would agree with that yeah i think that it's like yeah, yeah. Okay, like, online like accountability said, is just hella hard to do it's just really hard yeah that's yeah. true do you ever get the issue where something comes to you and you're supposed to make a decision or something you know and and it's kind of like you know there there's like so much evidence that it's like i literally don't have time to read all these like screen captures and try to make sense of it and 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 you know pick a side or 
throw up my hands and say, I don't know, you're both screwed up or, you know, you're um, talking past each other. I don't account, encounter that very much, but that's probably because most of the time I don't, I don't care. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm just like, like so many people have like internet squabbles and I just, I don't care. Like most of well, the time. discerning those things from like, you know, when somebody's got expressing that like there really is, you know, a danger in the community. I want to be. I want to be um, well. Yeah, you know, but if that's that. the case, like people can actually like those things can be brought. Those things can be brought forward. Those there will be if there's a a large claim being made. There should you know people will usually have receipts for that and can make a um you know can make a uh, a case for it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and there have been various situations, but I've never really. I don't think I've ever really felt like I was forced to put into a position where I had to make a statement, except for on my own drama because that has to do with me. And I made a statement about it, and people fucking got mad that I even said anything. So it's like, okay, well, you don't defend yourself. People tell you whatever they want, you do, and then people say you're a fucking piece of shit or whatever. So, yeah. Well, the, the, you, you know, your your thing was one of the easier ones to discern because there's, you know, it, basically it stems from a it stemmed it stemmed from one stream, right? Yeah. I've had situations before where I've been like presented with like you know somebody sending me like seventy five screenshots from Discord, somebody else sending me like forty. And just like trying to be like, okay, first of all, are these like legit screenshots? And you know, like, I don't know, try to see what you can conclude and what you can't. And it's 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 a little bit much. That's why, like in tr in general, I try to um, only pass something on, only forward something, only support you know a, a claim when I've checked it out because I don't want to be that person that's just hitting retweet because it's like this is my friend and I don't think they'd lead me wrong. My friends can lead me wrong and I'll probably lead them wrong. I'm wrong about some stuff a lot. Hey, yeah. check on me. Make sure that I'm, you know, like, you know, like, like that I'm not being led around by unconscious bias or something like that. Right, right. That's a possibility. It might happen one of these days. I'm just saying, chat. And the fact that you would be here for me to check me and to like, you know, kind of bring me back to my senses, that means like so much to me. Because I've seen what happens when content creators don't have that and they, they kick out all the people that could have, um, you know, kind of given them some uh, sense of, uh, you know, kind of brought them back into a grounded state where, where you know, they're thinking straight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, that's fair. That's an interesting question. Yeah. I don't know. That might be too spicy. Um, I mean, like it was. well, uh, here's the thing. Uh, just shoot, shoot me a DM. If you think that you were banned on uh, incorrectly, uh, I don't really like speculating on that type of stuff. And if the mods determined that they didn't want, I, I didn't see anybody get banned in chat. I only saw a mute. Mutes are not a big deal. Uh, if you get muted, please just be mature about it. That's all. Yeah. It's just a mute. You'll be back in a second. The, the mod's job is not easy, okay? The mods no. do a lot for both of us. And, uh, like, you know, the, the certain nights, it's it's amazing that they're able, able to get through um, and take the kind of abuse that they get, you know, have to manage all the unban appeals and everything else. So just, you know, like, have some sympathy for the mods. They're doing uh, they're doing the best that they, they can. They do a lot. They do a lot, yeah. Yep. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Um... No, I don't think anybody. No, no, Gina. No, Gina. I don't think anybody muted. No comment check. It was something else. It was a uh, somebody con commented in the in. It's all good. Don't worry, Gina. Um, no, I, I'm. I'm. It should be fine there. Yeah, you're good. Um. Yeah. So. Um. Well. All right. Um, yeah, any, thank you so much yeah, no you problem. Know, for, no problem. for coming by here and talking to us. I, I, I loved. Um. You know, kind of catching up, seeing what's um going on and. Um, we'll be in touch and stuff. Yeah, and of definitely, course. I'll be thinking of you and the, you know, the, for the bird brains. Uh, yeah, I'd love to. I mean, month. it's it's like I don't know. I, I'm I always try to get you some conservatives. It, it is really it's hard, fucking though. impossible. These guys get it, themselves it banned really left hard. and right. Yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. The ones that you like that would be okay, or they 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 get TOS off the platform, and then the ones that are left are kind of like either they're not really conservatives or they're you know. They're, you know, they're, I don't know, some kind of like faking or, or something. Right? Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. Well, like, okay, I, I, you know, it's so that, hard. Like, twice, the thing but... is, I'll even argue with the ex like with more extreme people. It's just like, like, I don't know. They, they usually just can't even. They usually can't even keep like their pants on with without like without dropping slurs. Like, so it's just like, holy yeah. shit. Yeah. True. True. Yeah. Have you done? Have you dealt with Doobie yet? Oh, you, I've talked to Doobie a few better? times. Doobie invited me to do a a um a Q and A on the politics Discord. So I don't know. I might do that at some point in the future. Um, Can you explain Doobie's um like like uh 
political alignment because I, I always get confused i have no clue honestly yeah, okay like, i'm not I don't the know. only one i'm not the yeah, only no. one that's confused by that okay no i, I have no sure. idea i think i i kind of there's a part of me that thinks that let's like intentional after all he does run like a, a politics discord where okay. um i think he has to keep like a little bit of like mystery around it so that people don't get the, like so that maybe the people don't think that the politics discord is bit slanted in a certain way yeah, um i don't know yeah. i don't know anything I, I don't really i've not really found like most of his takes super agreeable but also like i just don't know where he lands on it and you know whatever yeah. So <laughs> I always start to agree with him, and then he's like, "Wait a minute, no comment, chick." Before you agree with me, let me let me say the rest of what I'm saying. And I'm like, "Whoa, oh, okay, shit, yeah, you're, yeah, you're right. I guess I don't agree with you on that." So yeah, but yeah, it's 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 a bunch of fun. Well, yeah, thanks for uh, coming by here um, again, and um, thanks for being real. And um, you know, for thank you, Demon Mama's community, for being there for her uh, through all that unfair shit that she had to deal with, and um, you know, for everybody out there that you know has had trouble and has has been you know upset these last few weeks you know just know that there we're we're, we're we got to be here for each other that's the only thing that we can do is be here for each other support each other and and stick to the truth okay because yeah. that's you know what's going to keep us on you know ground where we can where, where we can engage and trust each other that's the most important thing is maintaining those uh that trust between each other yeah I, and i agree i think that respect and trust between content creators is really important um but also like we live in really fucking dark times just take just be good to one another you know just be good to oh one my another God, yeah all right thank you so much irene it's been great talking with you thank and you so much, much love to the no comment chick chat um much and... love to the imps yeah they're 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 very happy right now they're all sending their love right now so um, yeah, no, yeah. Our, our communities are very, very much simpatico. Yeah, there's a lot so, of over, yeah. there's a lot of overlap, which is, makes me happy. So, all right, talk true to you that, soon, Irene. All right, talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.